And now, The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Suck it, suck it, suck it. Suck it. Or don't. Suck it. It did work out, everyone. See if I care. Hey, everyone. It's The Bonfire. We are live on a Tuesday? Yeah, nailed it. Tuesday. Uh, Comedy Center Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Big Jokerson. That's Dan Soder. Coming back to the fold and sitting in with us. You know him as uh, the former uh, producer of The Bonfire. Merc Face Andy. hey Homeless, broke, jobless. Like a... Looking for sex favors just to get in the building. I know. Cut his hair so someone would just let him come in for a warm meal and he could he goes, ditch huh? out on the bill. You look like a guy who can, you could ditch out on the bill. Yeah. You could order a lot and then ditch out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have? You've ditched no. out? No, I've well, not since high school. High school you used to do chewing screws. The old <laughs> chewing screws. I remember that. You know, Dine and Dash. Dine and Dash was it. I was the screw. I was. I would dumb girls like a group of five of them would and say we're all going out to like lunch after after school. Yeah. And they would order shit, and then uh, they'd all not have money at the end, and then I would pay, and they'd all leave. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Happened really? Like, happened to me like once or twice, yeah. Were they like, Jay, can you pay for us? Alpha's Pizza House. No, in, fa- in fairness to them, I think I they knew that I would try to like, that I would want any one of them to like show me the time of day, so they saw all over me. It was like, uh, what is the whole bill? Like, it means I mean, ordering French fries and yeah. shit. So it was like $20, 30 something like that. And it, but that would be all the money in the world I would have at that yeah. age. And you'd just be like, no, I, pff, come on, girl, I got it. I got, got a job. Get out of here. I got a job. Like, cool, we're going to leave. We're not even going to wait for you to finish paying. We're going to leave yeah, now. We're going to handle that bill. We're cool. all going to get in our Jettas and go. We all have different colored Jettas. <laughs> you know, in hindsight, maybe I sent them away and said I would pay because I wanted to get more food that I didn't want to eat in front of them. <laughs> yeah. You go, you know what? Why don't you guys go out to the parking lot real quick? I got to take care of some business. Why don't you send those clams? Yeah, that uh, Key and Peel <laughs> sketch where the, the fat guy order, he fake orders for everybody else in the room, but no. it's just him. <laughs> <laughs> so like, Let me uh, take the pulse of the room here. Do you guys want cheese sticks? <laughs> yeah, let's throw those in there. <laughs> That's a good move. I was trying to think what are other hot girl cars. There was the Jetta. <laughs> oh, Volkswagen Rabbit. Volkswagen Rabbit. Rabbit. Volkswagen, yeah. the new bug. BMW 325i convertible, the two-door. Oh, oh. What kind of California beach town <laughs> bullshit is that? Say? Is that a girl car? That's a rich person's car. Yeah, that's wealthy person yeah. car. Oh, the Lamborghini Countach. I was going to Countach. <laughs> <laughs> I called it a Poontosh because it got yeah. me all sopping. Yeah, it's like you can drive through the rain in that thing. <laughs> it's uh, a real Poontosh. Lamborghini Poontosh. Is a Ra- RAV4 is a hot chick car. Yes, a red Jeep Wrangler, Geo Tracker. If you're a guy and you drive any of these cars, please call one eight one eight four four comedy nine so we can. I mean, dude, being a regular dude just Chrysler driving Sebring. A, uh, yeah, I drove the Stratus, which was like the male cousin of I that. I drive a Dodge Stratus. I drive a Dodge Stratus. I have thirty employees under me. <laughs> Sebring is dude, great. If you're, if you're a straight dude who drives a Jetta, call please in. call eight four four comedy nine. Are you currently driving? What would be a, a girl hot car? girl car? Uh, Carla, when I met her and. And then I had to get rid of my Saturn. She uh, Saturn's kind of a it's Saturn's girl, it's an girl, easy like, girl car. It is, it is for sure. Oh it's yeah, an easy girl. That's a girl. That's a girl. I meet a girl with a Saturn. I'm like, oh, we're gonna fuck. Saturn's a girl who puts her cigarette butts out in a coffee can in the car. <laughs> yes, yes. And oh. then tries to jerk you off while she's driving you to the mall. Yes, that is a Saturn. Is a real. Is There's that, a Sebring, Sebring for sure. Oh, dude, Sebring is a 45 year old mom who's divorced and back at it again. And like really into it though, enthusiastically back at it. Oh yeah. She goes, yeah. I don't care if you guys know this but Craig moved to Minneapolis with the kids my ex-girlfriend Nicole her mom was yeah, all dude. sexually charged up in the brain and she used to in and, the breeze and, and she drove and brain. she and she uh, drove a, a Chrysler Sebring for sure Sebring? always top was always down with her big poofy jersey hair oh yeah look at that Sweet Corsica that's Wait, not a girl car that's what yeah that was the car my mom used to drive Wait, <laughs> go back what was that no, that's just those are cars of the times. I'm talking about when people start picking their fucking cars a little better. And a, to- and a Toyota Rav Four is most. I mean, the phone lines are packed. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know so many dude listeners of our drove hot chick cars. Oh, and Matt from Miata. Second, we don't we don't take call just yet. Uh, Matt, just hang in there, buddy. And you might want to call back if you want. We are going to get to that at some point. Matt's already calling in. We teased it yesterday about a truck driver that listens to songs that are off, like really- oh, music that you never thought. Because we were listening to Halsey. We've done guilty Hazley. pleasure music. Halsey? Halsey. Halsey. We were listening to Halsey Bad at Love. got it. I'm bad at love. <laughs> I believe, I believe, I believe. And we were saying, like, music that you're into that you would have never guessed. What's a song that, like, I mean, you look like a biker. I mean, you're Merc Face Andy. 
A song, uh, like a pop song. Is there something that, like, you, yeah? What was that? Uh, you've said them before. To I those. don't care. I love it. Oh, Charlie X. Yeah, I, I love that one. <laughs> I put really? that on a playlist. It would get me <laughs> fucking pumped up. <laughs> well, I told you, I've said the show before. Mine, one of mine, as far as that goes, is always uh, everywhere. Michelle Branch. That one, just I never don't want to hear. Everywhere. I'll tell you. And another. when I catch my breath. It's uh, you, Aubrey. <laughs> Fiona Apple, uh, paper bag. No. And it was just a paper bag, and it hurts I'm, so bad. But that's, I'm almost want to hear like a real ragtag group of truck drivers tell me, he goes, Bruno Mars has a lot of talent. I'll tell you this, JT's new album, Man of the Woods, hell, he's a man of my speakers, because that's all I play. Um, someone said, uh, he just hung up, but he, uh, I just saw the name, but he said a Miata, absolutely for 100%. sure. But when I was a kid, Miata. when I was a kid, I thought that was the top, top end all be all. I thought that was, that's a divorced yeah. dad car. Well, also if, when you're- my girlfriend in college had one. A Miata? Yeah, Miata. Good for you. It's a, it was a girl car. For sure. Miata. A, girl car. a Mustang. I knew a girl with a Mustang, a convertible Mustang in high school. Those are that the old box bodies. Little, yeah, that could go either way. That little could go either rich way. family though. I can see it. that can go either way because guys, it's all how you soup that one up. Well, my buddy had a '99 Mustang. My buddy that coached for the Niners, mm-hmm. and he had like a red Mustang that was like tinted, dark tinted windows. Right, very dude. You put stuff on it that goes. Yeah. But if you're a girl and you get a white yeah. Mustang and you put like purple decals and shit on yeah. it, and you're like, what's, you're in. What's the What's the company? That, not juicy, but what's the heart that people? Roxy. Roxy. When a chick puts a Roxy heart on, I'll be, in traffic it makes my dick hard. I don't even know what you look like. I'm just like, <laughs> you see that. Roxy Roxy Heart, I went to the University of Arizona, and you would see Roxy Hearts on fucking Jeep Grand Cherokees, all the stuff, and you'd be like, I know you're just a fucking smoking hot chick. It was the first sign, and then you'd see him walk to the car, and you'd be like, oh, yeah. It's just like <laughs> little fucking uh, cloth sh- uh, shorts, like beach mm-hmm. shorts, and then like blonde hair with just fucking tank tops and cleavage getting into a Roxy. Uh, I mean, Big old fat tan titties. Dude, oh, I, I U, a- U of A was good for that. I had a car where that I bought. It was a used vault. That do you ever have bumper stickers that weren't yours that you couldn't no, get off? But that is great. Mine was this co. It, you, know, you know the coexist. I swear to God, yeah. I was going to make that as a joke. Like, the old no. coexist. You had to scrape off a Muslim, <laughs> yes. a, a Muslim, <laughs> uh, fucking yeah, <laughs> a <laughs> Jewish star. Yeah. The coexist and the stick figure family. Um, Dude, but, you had a stick figure family. <laughs> yeah. How big was the family? It was, that was not. It was growing. Oh it was, God. Um, Nick in Baltimore called out is Zuzu Rodeos. Zuzu Rodeo. Oh yeah, Zuzu. is Zuzu Rodeo. I Zuzu don't Rodeo that. is a chick that you ate tables with that you definitely think is good to go. <laughs> if uh, if, yeah. you, if you made a girl, yeah, a Zuzu Rodeo, you go. That's a good car. A Zuzu Rodeo, you go like this. You're smoking a cigarette, and you go. So you just want to go to your townhouse? <laughs> Yeah, that's not, girl. Out, that's not girl. That's not girl for yeah, sure. No, Zuzu Rodeo, if it's a girl, it's definitely a girl you're like, I'm going to fuck the first night. Oh, I'll tell you what, if it's a girl in a Subaru Outback, you're getting a girl definitely has armpit hair. Oh, the lesbian limousine? <laughs> what was like the Isuzu? <laughs> yes, Pontiac Sunfire. Absolutely, Mark in West Virginia. Look at that. The, my buddy in Denver <laughs> called it a lesbian limousine and I've never stopped laughing. So Which one is that? Because my mom. Subaru? Yeah, my mom's boyfriend Joe got a Subaru and he pulled up and my friend Byron goes, Weird, Joe got a lesbian limousine. That's so fucking I was like, funny. Dude, I dude. love when you hear you. Oh, you are the best when you hear a new term that you've never heard. Yes, and it's an alliteration. Oh, I fucking love it. That's how I felt about sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry, not sorry. And then every hot white girl used it. Um, Pontiac Sunfire for sure. Sunfire. Uh, I'd yeah. say Isuzu Rodeo. I'd argue uh, is not not girly. I don't know if Pontiac Sunfire is a hot girl car. Mm-hmm. No, it's more like Guido. It's more like a dude like me. We're just kind of like I'm kind of getting by. Is it well Pontiac Grand Am? I know oh, oh, that's I that, that, there was dudes Am. too. Yeah, I, I wanted a Grand like Am so bad. When I got the Strat ass, I was, I was trying to get a black Grand Am, and uh, it was too rich for my blood. Aaron in Vegas says a white GTI. What's GTI? <laughs> Geri- g- genital tract infection. Oh, I get it. <laughs> That's, G- That's oh, a hot, very much a hot girl sure, car. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Oh, a Good Honda call. Fit. Honda Fit is a very hot girl car. Oh, absolutely. i yeah. tell you another one. Uh, yeah, the Honda That's Fit like, for sure. It's like a cute girl. Hot chicks don't How about just that. the Volkswagen Bug, the new that, Bugs? Yeah, the yeah, new Bugs. The bug. new Bugs. The girl that I had a crush on in college, mm-hmm. when I asked her out and she goes, Dan, I have a boyfriend. She wanted a Volkswagen Bug. <laughs> That's why I, I always think of Carol when I see that. I'm like, that bitch broke. How about uh, uh, me and Christine hooked up with a girl, Mini Cooper? Uh, Mini Cooper, yeah. That's like, but that also can be. Kevin's girl? It's also the one that has the Union Jack on it, which is weird. Yeah. Uh huh. 
Yeah, I, I don't think I don't know if Mini Coupe is really a hot chick car. I don't know if I get the vibe. Black Lou right, Sandow. Call we, ugly if you want. <laughs> I do. Let's Scrum. not forget the Scrum. Mitsubishi Eclipse. Mitsubishi oh, Eclipse. Clips. That's a chick that sells is that ecstasy. A chick car? That's a dude that sells ecstasy or a chick that'll fucking blow you in a drive thru That's sort of thing with a Corvette. That's a tongue ring too. woman. That's a tongue ring wearing woman. You can see it's true. You can make any sports car a hot chick car. Yeah. You can always call that. The Dave dude. Chappelle. Oh, this is it. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! I'll tell you what. Oh, dance and make my dick. It's off. not. It's not a. It's not a hot chick car, but it is a car that if you drive, a hot chick is going to be pop locking in your fucking yeah. driver's seat, in your passenger seat, like is what happened in this commercial. Put this commercial out at the Bonfire Six M on Twitter. Um, it's her titty pops out. I mean, that girl would no. drive me bonkers. No, her titty pops out in this Chappelle one. Oh, that's, oh boy, they nailed it. I yeah, thought no, that was the it. Chappelle sketch. No, Chappelle and Neil nailed it with that one. <laughs> Days go by. Goes, oh, stop. All that dance and make my dick soft. <laughs> Michael in Cleveland calls out Nissan Rogue. Let's take a look. Bring up a Nissan Rogue. That's what Fenoy used to drive. <laughs> oh, Fenoy's a hot chick. He is. Ah, uh, no. That's a family. That's a chick that used to be hot. I'll tell you what. And Hyundai, she's Hyundai a... Santa Fe in Ooh. this family is definitely a chick car. I drove one for many years. Okay. I'm looking at this car just going, nah, I think that's just a sensible car. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Good mileage. That's one of those where you go, get you A to B. Good, that's all you need for the road. Just conserves gas. <laughs> right. Now go back, go back to like a 2005 Hyundai Santa Fe. Hyundai. Now, now, all these things now are just making like sleek looking things. Yeah. Dude, See? I'll tell you that's what that is. That's exactly the car that I had. That's not a hot chick car. You know what that is? That's a, I was really hot, had a kid Dude didn't work out. I'm trying to get it together and find me a real man that can take care of my whole family. Single, <laughs> single mother, bowling alley waitress. Yeah, no, single, <laughs> know single a... mom reception. Receptive. Got you. you know this I mean? is what this is what Trish's car would have been in 2005. Yes, if you were born in a different time. If I was born in a different time. What's Trish pushing nowadays? Oh, uh, dude, she, what she's always pushed since fucking 1990. Uh, the the single mom fucking tank. A uh, uh, range? Uh, no, a. Uh, Toyota uh, Highlander. No, no, not, uh, what's the one up from that? Forerunner. Forerunner. Uh huh. Trish That's a Colorado car. Hell yeah, runners. your mom drove around Aurora like fucking Kathy Bates in Misery. Goddamn right she did. Look at that. Yeah, Trish had a Forerunner my I whole life. For Joe her. was her favorite swimmer. That's why she yeah. stalked him and caught him. She made him. Yeah, she made him swim for him. Uh, Matt in Oregon. Let's take this call. Uh, Matt, you want to tell us what kind of car you have? I have a uh, 2011 Silver Jetta. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying now to, uh, Matt. Yeah. I'm trying to fuck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, <laughs> and I'm a truck driver. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. You know what it is? Most of your driving is too masculine. You yeah. have to even. You believe in equilibrium, so you got to fruit around your own town when you're home. <laughs> yeah, it's like shots of estrogen. You could to probably give us a down. real good song. Oh hell He's yeah! He's got the hot chick girl and a probably a good song for the game. And it's your Jetta, Matt. This doesn't belong to a wife. What's that? It belongs to your wife or you. No, no, it belongs to me. It's my car for sure. My girlfriend has the. Uh, uh, she has, she has Grave Digger, the monster truck. <laughs> <laughs> he goes. Uh, yeah. My girlfriend drives a hot rod. It's pretty <laughs> yeah. confusing. It's a funny car. What does she drive, Matt? <laughs> Oh, she drives the lesbian limousine, the, the Subaru Outback. <laughs> Subaru oh, Outback. Man. Yeah, if I saw both yeah. your cars, I'd go, like, where are these dykes eating dinner yeah. at? <laughs> exactly. where's, your, exactly. where's your wife out? Khaki color sock shopping? Yeah. You guys buying you tan You guys buying tan shorts and fucking Seattle Liberty tickets? Or wait, where the Seattle, what's the WNBA team? Oh, I don't know. Storm? Yeah, the Storm. Is it? Yeah. But I don't know. Oh, Thorns. That's right. It's the Thorns, yeah. I don't think it's the thorns hey, storm. I got, I got to say real quick, you guys get me through the day every day out here on the road, and I know a lot of drivers like me. I mean, every day at 3 o'clock Pacific time, I'm on it. And uh, crackle, crackle. You I love serious, on fire, man. Do you have an auxiliary jack? How are you listening to Sirius XM in a 2001 jet? <laughs> Doesn't it only come with like a, it's an a pre preloaded jet. catalog uh, it's a, it's of Taylor Swift? It's a 2011. Oh, <laughs> so. But, but yeah, the 2001 the comes with a Backstreet Boy CD already <laughs> in it. <laughs> He's got the... Uh, <laughs> and, and vinyl seats so you don't, so your wet pussy doesn't fucking ruin the Slide right off your seat. <laughs> the input to the tape. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> you know it. Oh, oh, yeah. The tape with the cord that goes to the thing. <laughs> dude, I, oh, I would have sucked a dick for one of those when I was younger. I love that you and your wife have cars like your two 23-year-old girls out on the town living with each other. <laughs> what do you want to do? You want to go hit a kegger? I don't know. Do you guys want to go down to the happy hour at Chili's? <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for calling in, dude. Thanks Thank for you listening. for listening, Matt. We love you, buddy. Uh, thank you, guys. See ya. <laughs> Mike Harrington, um, intern at Skanks, says he tweeted at us, the Mazda CX-5 is a must-own for hot chicks who don't know how to park SUVs. Also, don't sleep on the Hyundai Tiburon. 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 That's their little... That's their... Yeah. The, the, that's the, their Jetta, right? The low... No. It's the sports car. <laughs> the low end uh, makers, and by the way, I've owned Hyundai's. They're fine. I'm just saying, Hyundai. but but the, but the not you know not Porsche or Alfa Romeo like those, the sports cars that are made by like you know the priced to move companies. Yeah, like uh, like Kia or whatever like that. It's their sports car. Those are definitely made for hot chicks. Yeah. The Tiburon, for sh- is that right there, right? No, if you're a hot chick that drives a Tiburon, please. Tiburon call literally has the body of a uh, that shared the same body style one year as the Jaguar. Jaguar, Jaguar. Now Jaguar is a is a wealthy older woman's fucking car. Yes. yes. Or not wealthy, but just has her own money. Yeah. And that's what the car a woman would go buy who wears a fur coat. If who if wears were, a fur coat? If I were to sell a Jaguar, it's a Jaguar. A woman, I, I would Samantha say Samantha, and who's the boss? That's what she drives. Was it really? Samantha, I, it's the, what, not Samantha. Not Samantha. Not Samantha. Angela. 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 Um, it's a, for a woman Samantha. who wears brown. Yeah, yeah, a woman who wears brown fur-lined leather gloves. Yeah, while she's driving. Yes. Only while she's driving. Yes, that's what they're for. Yeah, and she has uh, she has like tinted shades on while she drives. And she has hats that you fucking hate. Yeah. Every one of them you don't like. And she refers to her husband only by his first name. Mm. Never as her husband or a, my, or a cute name. Gerald. <laughs> his Ger- full name, too. Gerald says we're allowed to go to the Canary Islands this year. But I told him, <laughs> only if I can get time off the law firm. Mm, Gerald. Our son, Stephen, is a gay man. Derek in Minnesota says Nissan Altima Coupe, but no, that's not. Chevy Volt? I can't picture these. I, well, that's you know what I mean? I can know all these names, dog. but... Let's see what the Chevy Volt looks like. Ooh. Uh, it's a little Hyundai. Same the same. Thing. They all do. Yeah. They really do. There's no, and they're all made. They're a computer and fucking Black Lou, do plastic. You yeah, going back off of what Jay said about the mass produced sports cars. Toyota Celica, did we get that one yet? Celica's in the Eclipse world where it's like you're either selling ecstasy and you have a hot girl popping and locking next to you. Oh, dude. You know what you just made me remember completely? What? When I used to go visit my dad the few times in Ohio when I was yeah. a kid for the summer or a couple weeks, whatever I'd go out there. You can the super what I what car I pretended I liked. I've always thought this car sucked dick before and after this, but for a year when I was infatuated with this chick who was his neighbor, yeah. Sarah. Yeah. Uh, because she liked it, and she said she liked guys that drive these. Yeah, and it's, it was my goal to get one of those one day. It was Honda CRX, dude. <laughs> Honda CRX. It's a fucking hatchback, you dumb cow. <laughs> I hope she got fat, dude. Honda CRXs are the go-to's. I always I reference when I talk about restaurant oh, managers oh, trying to get, jag that back. Restaurant managers trying to get blowjobs. <laughs> and CRX like, dude CRX this fucking guy Sean well, that was my restaurant manager at Red Robin he was always like this fucking <laughs> asshole and he drove a CRX and he's like his girlfriend would come in and she was really cute and I remember he was so proud he's like dude she loved me no matter what she sucked my dick in the back parking lot and I'm like alright Sean and then he'd be like she loves me so much she'd kiss me if, even after I ate a shit sandwich and he thought that was the funniest joke <laughs> that I heard him repeat it at least Sean. six times also shout out to <laughs> Brittany at Red Robin really should have dated me. You're only a couple years older, and I looked you up recently. Life came on, fell apart. Shoot oh. up, uh, bring up a CRX. Do like, 19, do, like, do like 1992. Actually, wait, we glossed over the VW Golf, which VW I VW Golf absolu- or Rabbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that right. absolutely. Anything that's named after a fucking vibrator is also. <laughs> if your name, yeah, is that the CRX from to that from 92? Yeah. Gonna, yeah, right there. That's the one. She fucking loved those. And I'll, I just go, be- I'll go buy everyone on the staff one of those right now. I what are those, believe- <laughs> fucking, what are those two Gs? Hey, I'll guys. fucking have a pack of CRXs uh, CRX outside. CRX is on me. <laughs> guys, everyone on the bonfire gets a CRX. Why not? It's a fucking Tuesday. <laughs> Holly in Wisconsin, take that call. Holly. What? What's your name? Hollywood. Hollywood. Oh, no. You're saying, are, are, are you the owner of this car? Because we had a friend, Joe DeRosa, also had this car at one point. What car? Uh, tell him, Hollywood. 
I want to say that the Kia Soul is the holy grail of chick cars because I saw a girl in a Kia dealership flip out on her dad like, oh, my God, it's got neon lights and the speakers and the door. I need this car. And I'm like, holy fuck. I, I mean, crazy. Wait, is that the car he's talking about? Yeah. Uh, is, I thought that was the preferred car of Giant Gerbils. Joe DeRosa got one of those. <laughs> I thought only Giant Gerbils yeah, that dress in yeah. hoodies drive that around. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah, that is a, that's definitely a modern hot chick car. Oh, without a doubt. And what was the... Remember Ford? Was it Ford that made a... Like a fake Hummer, right? Uh, what well, like the H three? By the time they made the Hummer three, it was like not the H three because that was that was actually them. No, they made like Ford made like a fake Hummer. I don't know, but my thinking, my little sister had the classic like uh, Northeast College girl car, which was the Jeep Cherokee. Uh, I know a lot of not a Grand that, Cherokee, and, no, and regular, a Wrangler, regular Jeep just Cherokee, a, just the box. Yeah, like a like a ninety nine Jeep Cherokee. Oh, yeah, the box. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what was a real with single. Your, you know, it was a single dude Colorado car. Was a Bronco, yeah, a Bronco. Ford Bronco. Oh, absolutely, or a Blazer. Well, because you can kind of, you could live in it. You could put wood in the back. <laughs> you could fucking. There's so much you could do. Oh, holds blood well. It does. The white yeah. Bronco. It AC can blood. drive it. Uh, Kia, <laughs> Kia. You know Sport- who this is? God damn it! Anthony in North Carolina says Kia Sportage 95, which I'm inclined to agree with. Hot chick car. You, Geo Tracker. Oh, my, 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 my yes. buddy, my, my buddy Dude, Mike the Vada. first girl that sucked my dick drove a Geo Tracker. <laughs> my buddy Mike Vada. I swear to God. My good old Mike, Tiggs. Shout out to Tiggs. My buddy Mike Vada, whose mother, this is great. <sighs> Listen, his mother was a woman who wore fur coats. Yeah. She was the one who, who was dating the high-powered lawyer that got me tickets to see Iverson cross up Jordan. Okay, this is, and she drove that friend, She drove a Geo Tracker because she was, I was thinking of. Because she was, before she started dating this guy, she drove a Geo Tracker. Then when Mike turned 16, Gave him the Geo Tracker, and then she got a fucking what? An old lady Jaguar. 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 She wore leather gloves and, oh, and things and crazy great. hats. Josephine, I remember oh, her. Man, Geo. Oh, I totally a, forgot but, but, about but it. Mike, so Mike rocked the Geo Tracker and, and rocked it, like for oh, sure. Like, but, it, but it was the girl. He was I, in a hot chick car the girl, for sure. Yeah, the girl that gave me the. Fr- uh, let me tell you what it was. What are the, what are the things that had in it? it? Was a disco ball from the rearview mirror. Now tell me that doesn't sound Fuck like a girl. Yeah, dude. Tell me that doesn't sound like a girl giving head to well, everybody. She, she didn't graduate yet, so she couldn't have a class of friends oh, for everything. <laughs> Tassel, you know yeah, that yeah. that girl's sister worked at the stand. Really? The girl that blew me for the first time? Tiggs. Tiggs is sister. Dude, so this is the best part. <laughs> I won't say the girl's real name because I don't want to call her out on the show. But I was doing a joke, and this girl she still works there. No, it was right when the stand opened. This girl comes up to me and she goes, "Hey, you said you're from Aurora," and I'm like, "Yeah, I grew up in Aurora." And she goes, "I went to." She went to another high school, and she goes, "My sister went to Smoky Hill," and I was like, "I went to Smoky Hill," and she goes, "Oh, my sister." Your saw high it. school was called Smoky Hill. Yeah, Smoky Hill High School. <laughs> Never come up. <laughs> Never once in the show that I've come up. You went to a place called Smoky Hill High School. <laughs> Smoky Hill High School. You go to a name usually of a place that's like named after a person or a PS or uh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Smoky Hill's a river in uh, Eastern Colorado. It's still a fucking hilarious yeah. Denver school to go to. Smoky Hill. Oh, uh, I go over to Smoky Hill. Not, you know, the the not even the Weeping the Buffaloes. Smoky Hill Buffaloes. Oh, are, you those, right. are you those buffs. queers from Weeping Mountain next town over? <laughs> Actually, no. What's funny is our rivals, <laughs> our rivals were Eagle Crest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, my school was designed by the guy that did the state prison in Colorado, and then they finally blew the windows out so it's normal size now. <laughs> yeah. My high school is the second biggest high school in Colorado for a long time. Smoky Hill. Hill Pride. Don't say that in, uh, Colorado high school's windows were blown out then. They're going to think it was the wrong reason. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. This was uh, pre-1999. Um, yeah, so that's my yeah, that's my high school. Uh, how about we have Liz hey. in Massachusetts. Take Liz in Massachusetts. Uh, hey, guys. Hey, Liz. What's your uh, what's your what's your hot chick car of choice? Is this your car you have? No, I didn't have one because I wasn't a rich white bitch in uh, in my my private school in Boston. But it was a huge deal to have a Saab 900. Yes, I don't remember the Saab. Saab. Yes. Saab. I, Convertible. I forget Saab. I've never been in the price bracket. I've never been in the uh, tax S-Turbo. bracket ever to think about a uh, Saab. Oh, that was yeah. Those are the kids that went to Cherry Creek. Wow, that was a rich kid car. It's that, such that an was, ugly car. That was a weeping Willow. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's over there by Fallen Brook. <laughs> Liz, this is a very very ugly car. No, <laughs> that one in the mid right. Yes. 
I had no yeah. idea Saab was like a luxury car at all. Yeah, it's Swedish. Also, Christine, you're totally right about the BMW 325i. With I the am, right? right? Totally. Right. I don't want you guys to spit on each other's good neighborhoods. But someone else. <laughs> sorry, I was going. Lindsay. Sorry, I was going to a high school called Rolling Brook. <laughs> <laughs> I never really realized that fucking East Coast schools are all like PS something or named after a person in Colorado. Yeah. It's like Sunset Elementary. Yeah, I went to like Robert E. Lamberton High School. So. Yeah, 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 but well, just Lamberton. Well, I went to Smoky Hill, so back off. Dude. Mine's pretty obnoxious. Mir- Miracosta. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> no, the, that's California. That's though. very California. Mine was Seton Hall Prep, oh. and then I graduated. And went to dope ass you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I went to school hoard knock. <laughs> hoard. Let me see this. Let me kick it. That sob Liz is terrible looking. I don't know why everyone was oh, clamoring yeah. for it. The convertible it. one it's though. Ugly as shit. But then the 9000s came out, and boys started buying the 9000s, and we would all just clean our pants. And that's the end of. All right, oh, we lost, lost Liz. Damn, it went Liz. all wacky. Well, boys, boys be driving sobs. She's like, I bet those white bitches have good cell phone service. And you go, oh, all right. <laughs> kind of aggressive quick. You want to take uh, our first break? Yeah, sure. We can take our first break. We're hanging out with Andy Fiore, former Sirius agent. XM employee. Yeah, former family member. Former family member. And uh, We're happy now. With he Black left Luke. us to go work for the show, of, n- of the name of which we don't speak. Yeah. Is that what he said? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> um, very happy with Black Luke. We were talking about how happy we were with Black Luke earlier. He's so good. He's he so is. good. He hit spots you never could. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and before you ask, yes, he's bigger than you. <laughs> don't make it a whole thing. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, yeah. Black Rose Remedy. I picked that. I'm thinking, oh, I'm in the zone now of songs that are awesome to like blast out of a car. Rock songs. Without, almost all hip hop, if you crank it out of a window, just sounds sort of awesome. Yeah. Unless you're rattling too hard. But rock songs, the rock, a rock song you want to roll the windows down and let people know you're listening to, and feel like that's a good one. That's, that's a right fucking there. great one. I never got into the Black Crows. Me either. So it's like you playing them, I'm like, hey, I like them. Yeah, they had a great vibe. It was a cool thing what they were doing, and then it's just another one of those stories of band where it's like brothers, two, two brothers who hate each other always, mm-hmm. and they're just it's so idiotic always. Mm-hmm. You just so call us pussies. <laughs> Stern talks about that all the time too that I find interesting. It's like, man, we're in a band. There's just something like, <sighs> tell me the reason why. It took until they were saggy titted Ric Flair bodies for Guns N' Roses to get back together. I mean, like, what was Because like, the, what, that's. They're made, they, cause they, they shot up so high when they were young and hot, and they were, like, at the fucking very top that. Takes you 20 years to come around, you think? Yeah. I mean, 20 dude, how, years. How fucking. How high up Guns N' Roses got shot up with Appetite for Destruction? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 20 years comes back down to be like, maybe we, should, maybe we should just fucking bite the bullet a little bit and get back together and play this. You're also dealing with artistic egos. Yeah. So, you in know. In close quarters. Yeah. Like road. Oasis. Look at Oasis, Black Crows. But like, how do you not pull just to like, go the fuck on stage and make the I cash grab? I think it's a lot easier said than done. I think these yeah, guys. If you like your songs, if you, if you like your songs, like, go play your fucking songs. But like man. Noah and Liam Gallagher, if you listen to read both of interviews with both of them, they're like, well, I'm doing my songs now and my songs are better than the old songs were. And you're like, no, guys, it's fucking worked when you work together. Yeah. Listen. You can't write a good song once you have money. It's impossible. <laughs> you go, I'm so happy on this bed of money. No song is going to hit you through the fucking chest. That's that for sure. Total remedies. Uh, no, no, but I'm saying that wasn't I, them. Like they, they were set, but they yeah. wrote, that's a song they wrote when they were like yeah. a, a relevant current band, when, and you want to keep it rolling. Once it's over, I mean, like, I'm not saying you can't like have a song, a, about- a, a decent song produced. You're not going to have a song. Like what "Welcome to the Jungle" means? It's and I got I know it doesn't. It's it's like a deep, deep song, but it's like the idea of that. Like, what's the sell on that now? Uh, you know who I'm starting to. Tommy feel like- used to work on the docks. I mean, John. Yeah. Bon Jovi's got like fucking. He's got uh, Rachel Maddow hair now. I feel that way about Metallica. Yeah. It's hard for Metallica to be like, your soul is burning in hell when you're like, I and they know, won't stop. Lars right. is buying sixteen million dollar paintings and you're like <laughs> I know, even the thing is kinda hard when you to show them like when you show them in the only one you could take seriously in that regard 
is Trujillo. And I know he's wealthy with them, too. And they're still amazing to see live, obviously. Great. They play all the hits. But I'm just Great. saying, you're right. When they come out, like, what was it? Was St. Anger? Remember the video for that? They're just all, like, in a prison yard. And it's this whole they're thing. They're playing like, in Folsom. Or uh, for, uh, no, they're actually playing in the one in the Bay Area. Well, fuck, why am I not thinking Alcatraz. No, not Alcatraz. Oh. Uh, San Quentin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, they're performing it. Yeah, and it's just like. It's got some of the best. I know, but they, San but, Quentin but, has some of the best uh, property in Northern California. Is that the Suge Knight prison? Uh, maybe, but San Quentin, like where it is on the bay, when you drive over, you're like, oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Which front pro- property? They, 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 <laughs> they all like sort of dressed like, you know, prison-y. Like, hey, guys, we're in here with you. Now we're going to go back to our uh, private jet. I mean, yeah, it's, you, you, like, you have to take a horse up to Kirk Hammett's house. Like, there's no roads to go to it. A white horse. <laughs> he goes, oh, you, you know, I, didn't know you, I didn't get the notification you were riding up. I would have prepared grapes outside for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A bowl of grapes and bread. He goes, did you get lost in the vineyard? It's so winding. Oh, God, at least there's not a mist. Uh, sorry. Satan is your god! Wings of Satan! Yeah. Everyone knows. I know what hell feels like. Excuse me. Excuse me. The white Zinfandel comes after appetizers. Thank you. Mortimer? Mortimer. <laughs> Just so you know, we have a nut allergy in the house tonight. <laughs> Mortimer will take care of everything. Now come over here to the studio. I'm going to rock out some new lyrics. Oh, are you ready to hear Satan's marching music? Heart on fire. Soul of death. Everyone shall bow down to me. Bow down to me. Bow down to me. <laughs> also, guys, if you want, I think we're going to go sailing in Greece this summer. <laughs> Fear is your lord. Do you guys actually uh, take off your shoes before you come in? <laughs> yeah. I know the thing, but uh, Natasha's going to bitch. These carpets are brand new. And it is her one thing. She's going to learn. Uh, also, do you want to hear this new song that's called Satan's Piss Runs Down My Throat? <laughs> I figure we could listen to it in the gazebo while we have some iced tea. Salty. Spicy. Somebody ate asparagus today. Hey, hey. Flavor of hell burning down my throat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. It's just a, it's a hard sell. How many? So how many of these? You I mean, can't write a new oh, great Meta- fucking song. Metallica, Metallica came into San Quentin with this Buffton cheek. Buffton cheek. <laughs> That's off our lost tips next week. You'll, You'll catch it. it. Um, they absolutely. Yeah, you can't. I don't know why. Uh, listen. Jacob was telling us the other day, and I'm going, and you're going to go too, Dan. In fact, we're all going to make an outing if we can, because the imagery and stuff they do, you're going to laugh at, and also think they're amazing musically. But Iron Maiden's going to do a... They have to announce every five years they're going to come, and they have to go, all right, everyone, we're going to do a hits tour now, because they come and play a new album, front to back. And and they do these arenas, and people come out, because they want to see even like the four songs they're going to play. You know that everybody knows. So you go for those four songs, and then in their minds, they're like, people love when we do this. It goes, everyone fucking hates it. Dude. Everyone hates it. <laughs> if you go to Iron Maiden, there's a chance you're not going to hear Number of the Beast. Yeah. You're like, what have I yeah. driven anywhere for? Uh, That's the, crazy. The Notorious, who tweeted that? Notorious RGA. Nor- oh, Notorious yeah. RGA, Roger, tweeting it this. This guy's flexing hard in the VW Beetle. Oh, he's up, he's, <laughs> up he really he's up on 12. He's up on 12, tight knuckled. Look at him, white knucks. Because Valerie thinks she's getting this back if she pulls it up to a 3.0. <laughs> um, Pat in Montana says if a girl's car is missing a hubcap, she's down the fuck. What is that like? The uh, is that like the she Montana? Smokes, is, she that, pokes? is that like the Montana room key, Pat? Is that what it is? <laughs> Pat, you there? Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. Did we interrupt you? <laughs> if a girl's missing a hubcap in a car, she's down the fuck. You found it to be true. Yep, yep. She's usually got a stinky pussy, but... Oh, wow. That got really specific. Oh, wow. Well, she has a stinky oh She has a car with hubcaps. Her pussy stinks because she's 72 years old. <laughs> you know, if a girl's got white walls, she'll give you an HJ. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Route 45. How you doing? Oh, if, I, if I've got carpet on the dash, it looks like I'm willing to jack. Look at that hood ornament. I have my name embroidered on a dashboard cover. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm about to straddle your gear shifter and squat over it and fuck your cock on the My, my Thomas would suck my clit as we were driving along the coast. <laughs> Dude, those Roxy stickers, I swear to God, you put one on the back of your car, I'm going to try to fuck you. What is the Roxy sticker? Why do I not know it? Bring that up. Man, woman, it's two, I don't care. Um, it's two Quicksilver logos put together to make a heart. Logos? Logos. Oh, logos. Or logos. Logos for woman. Oh, it's multiple logos called Logles? They're Logles. Yeah, it's this logo flipped on its side. I've never seen that. 
I've seen Roxy, but I've never seen the heart. Oh, dude, when I see the Roxy heart, it's always like pink or white on the back of a car. Very Black, West Coast. Black Lou's nodding like I'm nailing a freestyle. <laughs> Black Lou's like, mm. oh, mm. I don't know this. I don't know this at all. Mm-hmm. I've never even heard of. It. I don't know. Oh yeah, dude, that's a big U of A thing. When you'd see a hot girl, you'd see a Roxy sticker, you'd be like, watch this girl, and they'd step out, and you'd be like, God damn! I just want to not have a hubcap. Yeah, on also, if, by the way, if you have a if you meet a girl with any of these girl cars, Volkswagen, Jetta, Rabbit, and there's a luggage rack on top, yeah. she definitely fucks because she's moving. She's oh moving on. God. She's always moving on. She she's get... a three card Monty of a human being. Yeah, she fucks like right away. Oh, yeah. Sure. A sure. luggage rack on top means like she's ready to just fucking jam at any moment. She's going to have to also, fucking get out of debt. She's going to fuck you into loving her, and then she's going to split. She's gonna leave. She has. That's a female Gary. She has short, very dramatic Seen it a haircut. Million times. Yeah, she's, she's either a got very dramatic short haircut, but she has piercing across, eyes. Piercing mm. eyes, and I'll tell you this: in a body that just don't stop. Oh man, titties for days. A's. <laughs> God built her for fun and for comfort, for speed and for she's built for action and for play. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's basically a human Land Rover. Red Rat says Meek Mill's gonna be free soon. You mean like today, Red Rat? Today. I saw. Oh, he's getting out this. today. I saw something about this. Heading to the Phillies game tonight. He's gonna go to the Sixers game. You mean or the the Phillies? Uh, Sixers, yeah. Sixers. Oh, he goes, he goes to a fucking Phillies game. He goes, and then Meek Mill historically went on the night of the Sixers possibly winning the first round of the playoffs <laughs> since 2011. Decides to go to game. 14 oh, look, of the Philadelphia <laughs> oh, guys, Phillies. Look, it's John, John Crook bobblehead day at the <laughs> Phillies on a Tuesday night. Oh, I don't know, son. I do love bobbleheads and shit. Yo, I was wrongly prisoned by a girl that was taking uh, money to put me in prison because of my probation, but you know what? I feel like watching the Phillies beginning of the season. Um, oh, It's great news, I guess, for people who give a shit. I don't know anything about that. Oh, my there, daughter knows. They were playing it when I went to that playoff game. Yeah, yeah. Meek All Mill, the music was Meek Mill and people were playing this Great shit. article in Rolling Stone I went through with this probation about how this judge just kind of fucked him over and over again and and she's mm. gone but and also people, he's a shithead yeah, well listen he's dumb for doing wheelies yeah. he's dumb for doing wheelies on probation but when you read about what his probation was and yeah. how crazy it was that like they just kept renewing his probation yeah, she, yeah. and basically what happened is i don't know if you read the story she, when he was dating nick uh nicky minaj the uh, the judge took him into her chambers and said, like, hey, you guys should do a rendition of a song for me. Yeah. And they were like, that's fucking... No, or put her name in it or something like that. Like, right, they, right, they, right. Asked her to do a, they asked her to do a cover of a song, and Nicki Minaj went to laugh, and Meek Mill like grabbed her hand and was like, don't, she's not fucking around. Yeah. Like, she means this shit. And it's pretty interesting when you read about the judge, because the judge has had a lot of complaints from other judges saying that she's crooked and that she's mean and that she does this kind of thing, where the second Meek Mill... He got put on a tour where he was probably going to make about seven to eight million dollars for this tour, and she goes, "No, no, I won't let him travel like that." And they're like, "It's really weird for probation, especially someone that's uh, bringing cr- positive change to their family and like money for their family to make positive change." Money, yeah, money, money <laughs> in, and she just basically kept putting her foot down. And uh, you got to let me spit a few bars on the next track for those yeah. kind of privileges. They don't. It's like it's work, and just because work is fun doesn't mean it's not work. It doesn't mean it's not your livelihood. Oh, so yeah, to no, prevent I get that for artists, sure. like if you're on probation to prevent an artist from working because of their probation, it's fucked up. If they fucked up and do drugs, if they fucked yeah, up and drink or whatever, but to prevent them from performing. Janice Brinkley is the name of the judge, and it's pretty interesting when you read about her because it really was like a stuff where she just kept doing small little things to fuck them over, and then this one. And she goes. She goes. Oh, or you can listen to this new beat I just made in Garage Band. Tell me if you can throw some lyrics on this. She goes, I don't know. She goes, do you want to follow? Want to follow, want to follow me out to the parking lot to hear my thumps in the trunk? Maybe I got a spit? Volkswagen Rabbit. So yeah, we're gonna tweet the article out at the bonfire section. Like, so. I got a Volkswagen Rabbit. I mean, you are you are an idiot for doing fucking wheelies when you're on probation. Yeah, no, yeah. he's a dope for sure. But this, this seems like there was nothing that he should have been sent back to like what, five some years of jail. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, he did a year. Well, what's crazy is he's done more probation. Like they said in the article that he might as well have just done all the time he got originally and he would have been fine mm-hmm. versus going on probation with this woman. And then for the last 10 years, she's kind of just kept fucking with him. She goes, next time I'll renew his probation, he's going to give me that verse. She told him one time that she just didn't like his attitude. She was like, you don't seem happy and like you don't seem. Yeah, he's got like, she's a shitty chick. Oh, yeah. by the way, Joe and since he says Nissan Xterra and for sure, it's another one though. Oh, hell yeah. That's the girl a hot... driving a Nissan uh, Mexico. Stara, though, is wearing super short shorts, but they're not cutoffs. Not cutoffs. They're the ones mm. with the cuffs. 
Yeah. The ones you can kind of, if that's they move, girl, the ones they move right, you can almost see up that's a hot girl. <laughs> that's a hot girl that owns a German Shepherd or a dog that she <laughs> oh, can. A collie. Uh, yeah. Who's sitting in the front seat. <laughs> yeah, or one that she can barely handle. Where she goes, oh my God, Zeus, get back here. I'm sorry, Zeus. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. My ex proof, my ex boyfriend Bryce bought him, and like Bryce and I broke up, and I'm just like so horny. And just, I oh, love shit. Brutus. I forgot about Brutus. Brutus! Brutus! <laughs> oh my God, so you're a comedian. That's so crazy. I'm describing a girl. That I had a crush on in college that had all those things. She drove me. It's like a scene in fucking airplane yeah. where she's talking. And she goes, "So, comedy? That's gonna be crazy." And her dog's like jumping up, and you're like, "Yeah, is he? Is he okay?" He goes, "He's fine." Zeus, said Zeus. Stop He's fine. It. Stop it, you are, dude. I was so, so yeah. I've been uh, traveling around a lot, doing. Uh, is it? I feel, I feel like he doesn't like me. Okay. I feel like shaking out of the room. Does he? Is he gonna tear my pants? Do you have a mouth? Do you have a gate? Just, Dan, he's my fucking dog. I'm not going to put him behind a fucking gate. Just relax. Go he's to fine. The, go to the kitchen. Zeus. Go to the Sit. kitchen and get two Negro Medellas. And you go, <laughs> hey, I'm kind of... Hey. Hey, ki- hey, hey, Megan. Your dog's just kind of staring at me in the kitchen. He's kind of got me cornered, and, he's fu- <laughs> and, and the sides of his mouth are curling. Is that normal? He must know your dog. <laughs> Does he slobber this much all the time? She goes, he's uh, a dog, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Come in here. I'm naked. You go, I got to... I just think, I just think if you saw his face, you'd see this might be different. Hey, hey, does he does he cower like this, like with his shoulders, his head down, and his shoulders up? His ass is way up in the air, and his head is down, almost on the ground. I've seen all, a lot of gums. Oh, <laughs> all of his hair is standing up. I, can you please come in and get her? If I get on this couch, you're not gonna fuck me. You're like, <sighs> Have you tried to do the thing where he goes, "Hey Zeus, who's a good boy, huh? Who's a good boy, huh?" <laughs> Come on, you oh. don't. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. What do you want, turkey? I'm gonna tell your mom. You want a little piece of turkey right here? Yeah, you huh? here, take the turkey. Take the turkey. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Okay, Zeus. Yikes, Zeus. Hey, Tiffany. Seriously, I I hate to be a bitch. I'm being a bitch. I know yeah. I'm being a bitch. But can hey, you just get? Can you just give me the room? I'm, I'm, I'm weird with it. Hey, I, I, I gotta attack my dog when I was little. I'm gonna go out the back door. I'm gonna come back around to the front. Is that okay? <laughs> I'll bring. I'll bring. The, I'll bring called? the Negro Medellas. <laughs> I'll bring them around to the front. But real quick, you gotta let me in the front. Okay. You know what, you fucking mutt? I fucking hate you, and I'm gonna fuck your, I'm gonna fuck your owner. Right before you close the door, oh, yeah. God. You go, hey Zeus, I'm about to plow out your fucking owner, you piece of shit yeah. asshole. Okay, okay, all right, okay. All right. Okay. Hey, hey, yeah, I see that red rocket, you jealous hairy oh, cunt. Oh, what are you worried that I'm gonna plow out your chick? Don't worry, you can smell her pussy later. Yeah. I can smell the pussy. Guess what, my- By the way, that bottom part of the door is a dog flap. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. He goes, guess where I'm gonna come on your stupid dog bed, you fucking mutt. <laughs> If I had my choice, I'd give you hip displeasure. The judge's name in Meek Mill's case was Gino Bisconti? Yeah. Oh, Janice, Janice Brinkley? Janice, yeah, Janice. Janice. That's Louis' sister's name. Janice. 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 Janice, hey. All right, so um, I just learned this on the commercial break. Yeah. That Nick DePaulo got fired. He did? You didn't know that. I didn't know that. Taking he did? My phone. I mean, no. I mean, <laughs> what? Well, you were here, and I was like, I was like, oh, you I have to go. I guess I could stay. I was like, you have to go to the show. And you're like, no, I'm, I'm good. And I was like, what? And then I saw it. Well, we made a bunch of jokes Instagram. about it, and you were fine. I was like, wait, for real? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I heard about it today, just today, though, too. I think the news broke today. Listen. Right? Officially, yeah. Other uh, Sirius XM employees, don't tweet. <laughs> just don't. Stay. Well, I mean, <sighs> delete it off your phone. You're not. You know what it is, man? When you spend most of your time preaching to the choir, you forget that social media is not the choir. You're going to speak, you're going to get your choir there too, but you're getting the choir and everybody who's waiting to find some chink in your armor yeah. to mm-hmm. fucking go at it. Mm hmm. I mean, that, if I just tweeted chink in the armor, they'd be like, oh, an Asian guy can't wear armor without you calling him a chink? And, and I'm like, like, that's hey, not what happened. Oh, and then I'm fired. And then you're fired. And then I got to do the bonfire with Merc Face. <laughs> I go, welcome to the hey, forest wait. fire. <laughs> <laughs> the brush fire. Yeah, welcome to brush fire with Dan and Andy. <laughs> Talking only welcome countries. To fire crotch. Talk later. Yeah. He goes, maybe we'll work that out. Jay takes his fall. I got a lot of time now. Brian in D.C. says Fiat 500. I'm inclined to agree with that. Anything Fiat. Fiat. Anything Fiat. Yeah. Fiat. I mean, it's, it's made. Never saw it. The those. seats were made for J-Lo's ass cheeks. Yeah. The, you, you can hold those bowls of fruit. Doesn't Bucket. she sit? Doesn't she sit in? Uh, doesn't she make the molds for the seat with her yeah. butt cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> I bet, I'll tell you what. You can tell that story. Somebody would believe you told them that story. 100%. So they modeled off of Jennifer Lopez. Like she said, she sat down. Chair, and that's why and it's like so curvy. I yeah. believed you right there. 
<laughs> I, I know we're lying, and I believe you. Yeah, uh, I know we're lying, and now I'm wondering if maybe I just heard it that it is actually true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, no, yeah. no. Sir, this comes with J Lo bucket seats. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, what does it mean sitting there? He goes, man, it, that is one big ass. But also, oh, look, we might as well. Warm. That feels like I'm from the block. We might as well uh, plug it. Go to nickdip.com for tour. Yeah, we're still on tour. We're still on tour. Go get go get tour dates. Absolutely. Sirius XM can't stop us from plugging Nick DiPaolo. Nickdip.com. Um, go get tickets. What was the list? Sets fire tweet. I saw it. It's our 10-year anniversary. Oh, good. Yeah. I saw her commenting on list that's fire on the Nick DiPaolo thing, on the on the Nick DiPaolo situation today. Mm -hmm. And I just uh, messaged her because I haven't thought, I haven't heard from Liz that's fire in forever. I was like, "Do you hate us now? Do you not like our show?" <laughs> I go, "Have you stopped listening? Completed all our stuff?" And she said, "No, she doesn't get to listen live." Hmm. So, and she's also I wish her uh, good health. She's uh, going through some shit right now. So get better, Liz. Uh, get better, and she will. Yes. She'll be fine. Happy ten year anniversary. Uh, actually, uh, and, and more disparaging news too. The reason uh, Fenoy wasn't able to come in today, his dog is uh, oh, no. cancer. Uh, uh, spleen. They're gonna how do. How long does dog smoke for? Uh, it was a long, long time, and he was Paul Malls. I mean, I told him every. I told her. I told her every day. I said, Stella, lucky strike. You gotta stop. At least go to ultralights or something. Baby girl, get down to Virginia Slim. <laughs> no, that sucks. Um, so they're to, gonna put him down. To, no, 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 no. It's her. It's Stella, and they're uh, tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow morning. I guess she's getting a uh, operation. So it's always funny when you do that as a non-dog owner, and someone's like, "My dog has cancer." You go, "You're putting them down," and they go, "No, <laughs> no, no. I'm fight it." And, you go, and I expect uh, uh, maybe I shouldn't be a parent. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I expect you guys want to take me in the backyard and shoot him in the head. He goes, "Dan, he has chicken pox. He's four. Yeah, I go, put him down." Hey, when we go home, <laughs> I go outside. I do, I do the fucking Scott Evil from uh, Austin Powers. I go upstairs. I get the gun. I come down here together. We kill the kid. We make another one. I don't understand what the problem is. And hey, what's the big gripe? Um, but uh, love and uh, thoughts and prayers. And you know, I I know the campers well enough to know. Send your positive thoughts over to uh, Mikey. Hoping this dog gets better. He loves that yeah, dog. Yeah, that Definitely. dog's. And then when you're attached to a dog, man, yeah, it fucking it dies. Sucks. I still get teary. I think of one that died five. I've gotten more upset over dogs than grandparents hey, come on i mean this is a perfect just know that he's completely gone jay this is, is not a... with you at all in any way still <laughs> jay this is a perfect segue let's take a break and come back with another dog story surely let's do it we're Merc hanging face, out hang with Face, andy right. fiore single ready single. to mingle in the radio world he is a free agent oh, oh, no. Lou knows my we're at itch also oh, go man. to nick also go to nickdip.com for nick DePaul's tour dates and black lou over here, side eyeing Merc face the whole time. He goes, hey, it, it's great. I can't wait for the conversation after the show where Black Lou just pulls up Merc face side. He goes, hey, great job on the radio. Don't think about it. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen, uh, Merc face. We have quotas to meet, and we've met them. <laughs> so, and also, we can't break up this. Yeah, I mean, the Cowboys, Eagles, Niners triangle. Yeah, you're a Giants fan, but it's not as fun. Uh, yeah, we almost had the whole NFC East here. Well, yeah. And that, you know, and now that the Sixers are hey, in the NBA Finals. Jay, at least uh, two of us have beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Am I right? Oh, one thing we can get along. <laughs> Sorry, Lou. And now back to the bonfire with Big Jay Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh man! Oh, look what the cat dragged in. I'll tell you what. If that doesn't take you back to thinking just about a, a super hot blonde chick in a fucking Jeep, I don't know what will. Mm. I can almost picture her in my head and I don't even know who she is. But I know well, who drove I around cranking right the song. Now. She's dead now. No, no, what she is, she's fucking 40 and aging way worse than me. <laughs> Dude, I, I did very recently again a run of she the... She looks uh, like Vince I'm sorry, I'm 40 now, so you'll hit this in a few years, damn You get that thing. When you go back, it's unbelievable. And maybe I'm wrong. It's unbelievable how young I look compared to my graduating class of high school. How, how young? And I have gray on my beard and all that shit, but there's just something about how young I... It's because you live a fun life. I, these hot chicks from high school are fucking... Yeah. Moms, age, there's so like, many of them. Age, yeah, and that's I don't I don't mean mom like whatever, just smoking hot moms, and there's smoking hot moms. I'm sure from my school. I'm just saying, uh, some of the girls oh, I when I go back and look at them, you say, and by the way, they don't look bad. It's just a matter of like, men, wow, I men age better. The kids, that, yeah. I, you know, I knew them since they were children. Mm -hmm. So it's so weird to see that. Man, now. there was this girl that like she she aged actually really well. Mm -hmm. And I went to high school with her. Oh, she's healthy. 
I mean, she's great. Mm. I mean, she had like three Look kids. Those lungs. She had three kids, and her body snapped right back like a rubber band. We were like, oh, happens. God. And I had a shot with her in high school. And you're almost like, man. God damn it. She used to be like, should have put a baby in her, dude. I know. Is she that you're getting that? No, 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 no. I don't know. I should have banged her. Yeah, absolutely. God. I didn't have those opportunities in high school, but <laughs> I do. Stupid. But like, man, it's, it's it's weird, man, seeing that. I did a Facebook yeah. interview. They just get lost. It's like, there's a thing. There's some group on Facebook that's like, you know, it's one of those, like, you know you're from Overbrook Park. Oh, yeah, if, yeah, 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 Or memories of Overbrook, Overbrook Park, and, I, and I'm just in it for whatever reason. So I, I click it sometimes to that's see. Great. And just to do that, I'm like, oh, look at, let me see who liked this that I know. And you look at them and like... So I mean, some of them look good, but but yeah, it's yeah. Not, it's I mean, that's the whole thing, but that's the whole thing about Instagram. Instagram's a new version of that where you go to your ex girlfriend's profile and you look and you go like, okay. Well, here's different. This might be our age difference too. I'm, quite taking, honestly, I'm taking tabs. Is that I think almost everybody that I went to school with in my age group, yeah. Uh, has Facebook. Okay. No Instagram. I mean, there's very few of them, I think, even have Instagram. That, I mean, I their, think, their kids have Instagram. Yeah. Now. Like, like mine, Isabel. I have to I have to know what it is because I need it for, for it's, your it's marketing. A, it's a tool. Yeah. I have, um, I'm from the generation where half and half. Half the people are on Facebook, half the people are on Same. Instagram. Yeah. And, there's, and there's a lap over, but most. Twitter's that lap over. <laughs> yeah. I'm, 30, I'm 34, and most of the like girls I went to college or high school with are like moms or like settling down or whatever. And married a couple years, maybe? Married a couple years, but they have like their wedding photos on Facebook. Yeah. But then you go to their Instagram, and it's like vacation photos with my guy and my special <laughs> guys. And meanwhile, I'm like, hey, here's us eating breakfast in Moon Tower. I <laughs> still play wrestling video games at night. No, right. That's what I mean. That my, that <laughs> my, that my, still my sk- I still I play video games like in my room this Dude, weekend. I will be playing if seven, the playoffs of the Sixers. Playoffs? Uh, in my, play, playoffs? In NBA 2K. That's what I'll be doing this weekend in, in Cleveland. Dude, and, and, you know, and well, not eating shitty food, but generally speaking, you know, you get like a sandwich and whatever and, and, and play a video game. If I were to go, when I see the guys, I'm sorry, but when I, when yeah. I see the guys they're married to is what I was going to say is more yeah. interesting. It's the guys that seem very different from me. These guys that don't grab a PlayStation controller in their lives. These, guys have, these guys have golf shirts tucked into slacks. Yes. Yeah. But these were the hot girls in school that wanted guys that were a certain kind, you know, and that, and now it's, it's very bizarre. Like I, I, we're almost too cool, too late. <laughs> You're almost like <laughs> ah, day late, dollar short. Where they're like, ooh, if you could have done that 25 years ago, I'd say I would. I'd say I was. I would be the coolest guy back at a reunion. But there's a dude. Uh, Mike Luciani, yeah. who's the guy who was so not threatened by me as he should have been, <laughs> that he's the one who let me take uh, the Valentine's Day dance picture oh, with his girlfriend yeah. that we had at some point, didn't we? No, we never had it. That exists in the world for sure. You need to fucking find it. And me taking a picture um, with her, hold, just holding her. Oh, he's hips. doing all right. Oh, Luch. Uh, Mike Luch, yeah, Luch. No, but you see, picture him. He's jacked. He became like a bikery guy. Yeah, he's cool. Oh. She's got a kid. And he was like, <laughs> well, he's got he was cool. By, by the way, he was pretty cool in high school. But he was like, bo- he was the borderline. It was almost chubby. He ain't chubby but no good more. Looking, oh, but just good looking Christ. like an it's Italian kid. But terrifying. he got fucking like, yeah, he terrifying. got like. You two together would look like a terrifying duo. If I didn't know you? Yeah, but his tattoos are awesome. Yeah, no, he, he'd be the coolest guy for sure. Yeah. At the, uh, at the thing, no him. matter what. Good for he's you, still Mike. Gonna, but I'll tell you what, right after him, oh, hey, hey, this go guy back. right hey, Lou, here. Turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the Cowboys. Kiss my <laughs> say talk. something to him, Lou. Why don't yeah. you say something to him when you see him? Where is he? Uh, Philly. <laughs> But he's uh he'd be the coolest guy there for sure. But yeah. I would I'd, I might be the most interesting. I'd probably uh, I wouldn't be the coolest. I'd probably just you'd get high and be like, hey, you guys remember that time I had a house party and Trish came home and everyone had to leave the front door when she was parking in the garage. <laughs> you don't think you're the coolest person to come out of Smoky Mountain? You <laughs> it's Smoky Hill, right? Go sorry, Pops. Hill Smoke Pride, Hill. Smoky Hill's high. Smoke Hill. No, it's not Smoke Hill. It's Smoky Hill, and there are some pretty cool people that have came out of my high school. Uh, uh, Samantha Montavani. Oh wow, Samantha Montavani. Did she? Ever. Yeah. No, she for reals, reals. Oh, real. man, that was... Oh, is she oh. in the middle? She is in the middle, yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I get it. I get it. By God the way, also, just, just married to a dude. By and way, good for him. Well, we looked up Renee Herlocker, and she's married to fucking... <laughs> he's addicted to the book. I'm addicted. We never played that song. That's so fucking weird. What? Same at the Montavani. Oh, I love that. The yeah. header too is a great pick. Headers, that's her. Yeah, dude. That you could. 
in my, by the way, in she my, definitely listened to Look What the Cat Dragged in out of a fucking uh, Jetta, for sure. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Speaking of hometowns. Samantha Montavani. He always likes Samantha Montavani. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of hometowns, this has been tweeted at us. I want to say over 20 times. And, there's, and the fact that we haven't talked about Prepare this. Prepare for the rest of the show. At the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, we'll tweet the article out. Samantha Montavani. <laughs> You're right, Janessa. I did like Samantha Montavani, but you were my dream boat. Yeah, yeah you were. that's such a lie. Everybody likes Samantha Montavani, Janessa, but I always liked you more. I sent you flowers. You didn't even acknowledge it. You get deny that shit all you want. <laughs> I feel like you'd be the one who's being in a bit of a denial. You ain't talking to me a damn. No. No, it's Dan that interrupts. Shut up. Oh, uh, Shut up. Oh, sorry, You're past your prime. We I don't thought you were coming to me. I thought you were coming to me all sideways and shit. You want to get a hug or something? He's been ripping my ass on his talk show. Fucking jack off. He's been ripping my ass on his talk show. <laughs> ripping Dude, my that ass. That sounded like a jerky boys character. <laughs> Play that again. Play that again. Play that again. He's been ripping my ass on his talk show. <laughs> <laughs> He's been ripping my ass on his damn talk show. Chisel chest. chest. Yeah. I'm still, oh, I'm still, I still have a feeling she doesn't know what the yeah, show is. Yeah, the Swiss R I Z Z O. Get it right, jackass. Oh yeah. I smell shit. Oh, Did they... you shit in this house? He's been ripping my ass on his talk show. <laughs> I have very bad eyesight. <laughs> my name like, is I... Janessa. Yes. <laughs> like I honestly didn't know he felt that way. I got some silly looking warts all over my ears. Oh, that that just made me angry. That made me cousin. angry all over again. That got me angry all over again. Yeah. I really didn't know he felt that way. Shut the fuck up. Whoa. Whoa. Look Which one was this she? Right there. Murderers. In the Gross. third? In the middle, yeah. But, but my date. I'm sorry. But I'm my s- date at this dance was the girl next to her. That one? Yeah, no, not the one you were expecting it to be. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Dan. All right, we'll be back tomorrow, everyone. Thanks for listening to the box. <laughs> no, Don't I stand up and do a, la- a lap, Black Lou. It wasn't Def Jam funny. It was. <laughs> It was. It was. Uh, wait, dude, that girl's smoking hot, dude. Who? You, that one. The one I was on a date with. She's way better than Janessa. So here's what happened. Relax. But here's the thing. That's Courtney Schwartzberg. I'll tell you about Courtney Schwartzberg, though. That, no, that night, this was really funny. That's her in the middle there. That's Janessa underneath Courtney Schwartzberg. Here's the thing about Courtney Schwartzberg. <laughs> How many times did you her name? It's funny to keep saying. I think last names are fun. Yeah, last names, real names are always funny. Uh, Courtney Schwartzberg. <laughs> Right there, get in the picture to the right of Janessa. Uh, Courtney was the girl who wore... I like Courtney. Sweat? You like Courtney Schwartzberg? Yeah, yeah me too. I like Courtney Schwartzberg. She wore a uh, just sweat, you know, sweatshirt, like matching red sweatshirt and sweatpants to school She's every day. A po- She's po- a pyro. But it's whatever, just ponytail. You know what I mean? Whatever it was, just very like basic, like jeans and a sweatshirt. She was never yeah. like a... She wasn't a sexy dress or anything at all. And then... She aged great. She shows up. She shows up for the, the uh, it was basically, I switched schools senior year. Yeah. yeah so they were like, yeah. we want you to come to the dances still. The, 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 no, it was junior prom is what that was. Okay. Junior prom. That's uh, so the year I switched. So they go, uh, well, you can't not go to junior prom. You were here for most of the school year. Like, yeah. And they go, Courtney Schwartzberg's not going with anybody. Like, you should go with her. Would, they were like, almost like, would you go with her? I'm like, yeah, sure. Like, that was me and Amy Lloyd. Yeah. Like, like, would you go? I go, yes, sure. I, I'd love to. And I picked her up just expecting that. I like Courtney, and Courtney's like a pretty girl. It was nothing about that. I just was like, she was just so mousy that it was like, there's nothing there, you know? And uh, she came out from her house and just, (laughs) yeah, no shit. Oh, oh. (laughs) Galuka! Galuka! And then I, uh, I, was, I was your friend with the sunglasses that wasn't going to the dance, <laughs> and I had the jean jacket on, and I went, Jay, junior year, just got awesome. Yeah. <laughs> then she walked by my other friend, and his dicky flapped up. Yeah. And I went, va 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 voom <laughs> Oh, who would have known? <laughs> Four alarm are over here, oh. Courtney Schwartzbergville. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Samantha Montavani's going to lose I, it when she <laughs> sees to the way Yo, Courtney. Yo, Samantha Montavani's going to shit. <laughs> no, not, not then. Yo, you're gonna shit. Yo, you're gonna shit. Yo, Courtney Schwartzberg um, looks fine as hell. I think you're gonna have a good prom. <laughs> so she comes out, and I literally, I said to, I said to Rhonda, yeah. who was the one that you definitely thought was my prom date. Oh, poor Rhonda. Poor Rhonda. Um, Rhonda was a sweetheart, and I believe, uh, yeah, dead. I believe, in the, <laughs> I I believe she's dead. No, no. <laughs> Uh, Rhonda was she was a, she was a very nice girl, but uh, She's the, the Courtney, I told Rhonda to tell Courtney basically I the only confident move I've ever made in in my entire high schooling and college age years mm-hmm. the only uh, uh, like I got this was 
let this nerd know, Rhonda, that I am willing, of course, tonight. By the way, virgin. Yeah. At this point, myself still uh, limited experience even in making out and shit. Okay. Limited. Let her know I, of course, will Fuck be her. hooking up with her tonight. Like, it's, <laughs> of course I will. I want to. She did a good job getting herself together. And <laughs> oh, I didn't say that, but I'm saying I definitely yeah, yeah, get, yeah. that's what I was you giving came off. With that I know that confidence. You get shot mm -hmm. the fuck. Rhonda couldn't yeah. have come back faster to be like, ah, uh, she said it more. I thought we were friends going to this thing because you were going to a different school. I'm like, right, right. And we no, were, no, no, I was. And I think I split. Like, I think we left differently. Oh, that's great. Not yeah. even like shitty way. I think it was, I was like, I was just embarrassed enough to be like, so, all right, I think my ride's picking me up here. I, uh, my, I my junior. Fuck out of dog. My junior prom date was mortified when I realized that my tuxedo without the jacket was the exact same as the bussers at the restaurant that we were at <laughs> for dinner. And then Fartbox and uh, Beret bet me 60 bucks that I wouldn't clear a table and put it back to the server station. And that's who I am as a person. So I got up and cleaned a table, uh, pulled people's plates, took it to the kitchen, you dumped it in the, the table. I bust the table, came back and got my money. Put you my back. did it. Done did it. We're back. That's fucking fantastic. Far boxing beret can fucking guarantee that I did that. Yeah. Well, Schwartz Credit Incredible. gave me the old fucking axe that night. But uh, oh fuck her. Look yeah. at her now. But yep. Yeah. Look well, at her now, sure. happy with her family. Boo. Mary Boo. And yeah, I remember these people. Yeah, I mean. All right. It's so funny. Just kids. We're all. But it's in their in my mind, they're kids. That's the last time I saw them. Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't feel like more than half of that. Like. Yeah, like yeah. More than double that time. Not more than more double that time, but. I was it, 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 it's been 20 some years since I've seen some of these people, and you still it's, remember that thing yeah. like, wow, how is it not still that? But what's crazy is when I go, when I work comedy works, and you know, people file out the back door to go up the stairs, Jay, to like say goodbye in front of the green room. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're unbagging their phones. I'll say hello to everybody. And there are certain people that are like, what's up? And I'm like, hey. And you have to do the hook thing where you push their face, and you go, <laughs> Amber Gardner, it's you. <laughs> There you are, Amber. Uh, well, speaking of hometown news, and we were going to get into this, uh, an Aurora couple was charged with animal cruelty no. after having sex with their dog in a homemade chamber. In my defense of my Aurora kin. A homemade uh, dog fuck chamber? Is, is your defense going to be that all houses come with a dog fuck chamber? That's an Aurora <laughs> thing. What are you going to do, not use it? It's called settler law. It's Colorado law. Uh, you have to fuck your dog. Settler law. Settler law. Well, it's, it wasn't actually in their house. It was actually <laughs> a motorhome turned sex chamber that was outfitted uh, for abusing the Siberian Husky mix. Oh, that's a beautiful dog. Frederick Blue Manzanares, 50, and his ex-girlfriend Jeanette Eileen Solano, <laughs> a great song, were arrested in March and charged with four counts of cruelty to animals in Arapahoe County District Court after Solano told an officer in Aurora last year that she was leaving Manzanares because he pressured her into having sex with the animal named Bubba. <laughs> Oh, who needs pressure for that? That's a gorgeous dog. I don't know. Dude, are you kidding me? A Siberian Husky mix and you're not throwing it? I'd have to, if I left Christina with that dog, I'd have to ask her not to fuck it. Solano. If I don't want her to do it, I go, Christina, I know you're going to be Will, and I know it's going to be hard. But if you can, I understand if you do it, but if you can, try to avoid fucking When you look in his ice blue eyes, don't make your pussy get wet. <laughs> Solano of Aurora explained to an officer at a gas station in March 2017 after she called police to report a domestic violence incident that her boyfriend had groomed her for the sickening encounter. That's just good, right? Right there, groomed her. Yeah, we like to talk like groomed this. here. He he probably wrote groomed and then what? Yeah, <laughs> with, yeah. The, with the writer next to him. <laughs> he was like, he was grooming oh. her. Yes, the goes, encounter. Put it on the board. I got one in. <laughs> Count it. Uh, he said he was grooming her for the sickening <laughs> encounter. She claimed Manzanares told her she uh, told her she needed to have an open mind regarding bestiality. And then she, she said, and then she said, uh, I've got a. Uh, Bone the pick with you? <laughs> Count it! She found pictures on their shared laptop, according to an affidavit. He spent the next six months introducing her to bestiality videos, bestiality forums, as well as providing her to different literature on bestiality. How many fucking blogs are you subscribed to? Dude, there is nothing better than saying, I have some literature that I think you should read about this. There's it's called a lot of us. It's called Everyone's Rottweiler. Uh, it's a story of a man. Look at this fucking guy's smirk. He looks like Jim Harbaugh. He looks like a Harbaugh. It does look like a fucking coach's picture for sure. At the Bonfire SXM, head coach or dog fucker? You choose. You decide. 
He goes, I'll tell you this. I'll have you running a tight 4-3 and fucking a poodle. How you doing? I'm your new head coach. I mean, he looks so much like a Harbaugh. Oh, my God. I wonder not to pull the curtain on production here, guys, but can you find other people who have admitted to male fucking dogs bestiality and then find pictures of them and then also have pictures of football coaches. Dude, this is great. Actually see people can tell the difference. Manzanares allegedly took steps to prepare for the encounters with a uh, with the dog in Solano building a customized bench with red padding inside a converted backyard motorhome. She also used a uh, Oh, man, this is great. Do you think it's a thing like a veal cage where they just keep the dog so it can't move so you can fuck it? No, I think what, I think he wanted to watch the dog fuck her so I think she can, like, lay down on the bench. Because then it says right here, he used dog hormone spray to arouse the animal and took videos of himself having sex with Solano and the dog. Well, when so a dog they fucks doing... a woman, it's always, it is doggy style. That's, it has to be. I mean, it's hilarious to say it that way, obviously, yeah. but no pun intended. It's always that way. Whenever you've never seen, you've seen dogs fucking women videos before. Before, right? I mean, we watched it with what's her name? We got the dog dildos. Oh, right, right, right. Yes, exactly. So, no, what she just was her describing. Well, I mean, a threesome is definitely a devil's threesome. <laughs> we're, we're like, unless you're fucking the dog and he's licking her pussy. I'm trying to think of how threesomes work in the dog world. Jay, you're a threesome expert. I got you. Let me think. What are all okay. the different variations? You have him banging dog, her, her dog. sucking dog dick. No, no, no. <laughs> Dogs fucking, and for argument's sake, we'll make it Christine. Dogs <laughs> fucking Christine from behind. She's just side muffling. All right, I'm in the room. Uh, Christine's uh, hands and knees. Okay. I'm on knees in front of her. She's blowing me from behind. It's the dog, me and the dog holding paws and hands. Right. You hold them up like up, yeah. up, up, like yeah. when you pick a dog up on their high exactly. legs. And he's comes, and you know he's fucking. He's still that, that awkward, like his back legs are like very still, like weird. <laughs> he's got deer legs. He's going, yeah. he's going like this, going. <laughs> you gotta give him confidence. <laughs> As you grab his paws, you go, You're doing it, Bubba. You're doing it. He goes, Attaboy. He goes Yeah, it is tight, right? Yeah. Call her a bitch. He goes, he goes Yeah, louder. Let her have it. He goes, Let's get real nasty. Lick me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually not to buy stuff, but let's go, Roscoe. <laughs> hey, Blue, come here. That's a Bubba. That's a Bubba. Lick her back. Lick her back. You fuck. Yep. There you go. Burp, burp, now you see that dog. That dog's Christine. That dog's that dog. <laughs> and then I'm the imaginary person in front getting blown by dog Christine. Get, getting right. br- getting brain. You know what? Get Christine out of there. I just want to fuck these two dogs. Quite honestly. <laughs> hey, look at how much fun. Look how much fun they have after sex. <laughs> this is before. I've never uh, had that kind of energy. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, fi- I finish. <laughs> I finish fucking <laughs> Christine go. and go. Oh, so you want to just run around the block and play tag? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you want to have a foot race to the deli? You want to get clip dude, bars? Dude, if you foreplayed like a dog, and he's going, I'm going to get you. I need to be. Ah, I'm just fucking this field. <laughs> I don't know. Where, where are we at? The hallway? I don't he care. He chases real quick, actually. <laughs> and he goes, ah, ah, ah. You got to run with your mouth open? I don't know, baby. I don't know if I'm feeling, I don't know if I'm feeling frisbee right you now. Know, I got to be honest. <sighs> <sighs> Hey, do you want to grab? I'll grab one side of this knotted rope, and you know. grab another side of this knotted yeah. rope. And I don't know if tug of war is going to happen right now. Oh, yeah. so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me clean myself. <laughs> Jay, hmm? <laughs> um, Solano said she was uncomfortable after the illicit threesome, telling police that she was somewhat jealous of Manzanera's bond with Bubba. Oh. An update of the dog's whereabouts and conditions were unclear. Bubba had to take when a he walk. Slid it, while he slid his dick into the dog, the dog looked at the wife like, simple. Winked. She Just goes, winked. Goes, I got it. <laughs> There's plenty of warm room in there. <laughs> she goes, do you think, is Bubba, is Bubba tighter than me? <laughs> I mean, babe, it's you know, it's a butthole. It's, I don't Dude, know. I don't love Bubba as much as you. First off, he ages at seven years the rate. <laughs> That's stupid. He's going to be like 90 by the time I'm fucking, you know, like if we stay together. It's not about who you have sex with. It's about who you want to play fetch with. Well, <laughs> yeah. I guess it's Bubba, too. Oh, shit. I guess it's, it's also Bubba. I go, it's not about who we have sex with. It's about who lays down next to your lazy boy so you can pet their head. Oh, God damn, it's Bubba again. Oh, He's talking about hey, Bubba. Guess we took her to the pound, huh? <laughs> he goes, right? <laughs> he goes, high five. <laughs> yeah. Sit. Then paw, sit. Paw. 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 <laughs> That's how he high fives. He goes, paw. <laughs> paw. There he is. Like the next morning, the doll comes over and brings you your slippers, and I just look at Christine and go, your time's running out. Yeah, he goes, oh, that's some loyalty I can get used to. He goes, clock's ticking, lady. Yeah. You better, fucking, you better figure out a way to keep me happy, because this dog is doing it. The man's best friend, am I right? And musk and strong. Strong. Oh, uh, is this her? That's her? 
Oh, that's mm-hmm. a dog fucker if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Jeanette Solano, 48. There's her picture. That, and fucking Lou can't get a girlfriend. It's weird that she turns around. I hate this. A situation like this. It's like, lady, you fucked a dog. Like, don't say you were pressured into it. Leave the guy. Yeah. Like, but, it's a little, it's like you're both dog fuckers. Stop trying to place blame. You're both this idiots. This might be the hottest dog fucker I've ever seen. No, she might be like, she might be like mentally abused and fucking whatever. Or if it's, it's not always saying that, but I'm just like, listen, I'm sure. Uh, look, I'm sure people get talked into things and end up just doing them and becomes part of their shit. You know what I mean? Like, it she is kept it is. Dude, I love it. This I is the like sun, it. so it's British. So they're like, carried out sickening sessions with their husky baba in a modified caravan, according to U.S. police. <laughs> and then in the United States, you go, it's from Aurora, Colorado. And I just go, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. That's where I'm from. You were hoping it was going to be like, yeah. I let your dog fuck that my look, butt. I did. I did. Ah, uh, yeah. That look. Yeah, I fucked it. Yeah, yeah fucked the dog. dog really is. He went like this. Yeah. His, smir- his smirk looks right. like he went like this. He went, yeah, talked her into fucking a dog. <laughs> they go, how many dogs have you fucked, Brian? He goes, so many dogs. <laughs> why don't you ask the Why don't you ask the pound puppies? Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's what I call the dogs I fucked. They're all bones in my backyard. You go, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, that got weird. <laughs> he goes, uh, don't worry, it's fine. They're all rescues. <laughs> hey, all dogs go to heaven, right? <laughs> Do all dogs go to heaven after they just lick the pussy? I mean, his smirk, uh, talking about this story, makes it better to talk about the story than just looking at him. <laughs> he really is, he goes, he goes, you guys hear my husky story again? <laughs> He goes, he goes, what are they saying about it? He goes, are they saying, did, I, did, did my dick look good? And he goes, you, you know, know I can fuck again if you want. Dude, what's crazy about this article. <laughs> you want to fuck again? What's crazy in this article is that it wasn't again. illegal to fuck an animal in Colorado until 2007. Which means, me. hold on. Mm-hmm. Settler law. <laughs> Settler law. It doesn't yeah. surprise me. Dude, that means. In fact, I, this chick won fucking Smoky Hills, most likely. No, dude, fuck I tried to with her I, husband. I asked her out, and she wouldn't go out with me. <laughs> she goes, What's Montana? I go, He's a golden red, retrie- red golden retriever. She goes, I'm good. I'd rather fuck a husky. Do you have a chow mix? Bitch, I hope you find a man that makes you fuck a husky one day. I hope day. you have to fuck a dog. I gotta go deliver pizzas at Pudge Brothers. Then you get to call her now and be like, well, was it better? I go, what's up? What would you rather have done now, She stupid? goes, I, did, I didn't like your hour special on Comedy Central. I just hang up. Oh, bitch. She goes, sorry, I gotta run. I have a, a, I have an arraignment in a couple seconds here, but I just want you to know you're special. Soft. I think Billion sucks. Hey. <laughs> what? You fuck dogs. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? You think his brother... <laughs> goes, Isn't that the weirdest part? <laughs> Hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the weirdest part? <laughs> his brother's going to have to sell the uh, the RV to pay for his legal bills. That's He's so funny like, when they're looking over in the RV and they go, what's this bench for? <laughs> well, it was an RV turned uh, dog sex chamber. You know, pretty, it also has uh, standard. cruise control. It's pretty standard. Goes, that sleep cap. <laughs> At the police auction? <laughs> Are you going to buy it? Yeah. Goes, I got this thing for a steal. All I got to do is take out that dog fucking bench and I'll tell you what, I got a pretty sick ass RV. Dude, I'll tell you this, the sleep portal up top, still untouched. <laughs> yeah. Things like brand new. They didn't fuck up there. I'll tell you that. Yeah. That dog couldn't get up there. He goes, I can't believe he slept with his dog. He goes, well, from what I hear, they didn't do a lot of sleep. You know what I mean? Am I right or am I right? You guys, am I right though? You guys know how you guys know how threesomes get. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. That guy's in jail and they're like, what are you in here for? He's like, I don't know, being awesome, having threesomes. <laughs> like, I don't know, crushing what? it. <laughs> you have threesomes? He goes, yeah, my lady and a dog. This is pretty much crushing it. <laughs> um, let's take our last break. Yeah, take our last break. Andy Fury hanging out with us. Yeah. Free agent Andy Fury. So Frank if you're a radio Mark show, face. and you need a guy that looks like he greased a bunch of innocent civilians when he was overseas. I'm your man. Andy's your man. Go to nickdip.com for tour dates where you can catch him on the road, Nick DePaulo. Yeah. Hit me up too. Andy Fury. AndyFury.com. F I O R I. Dot com. Big J is going to be at Hilarities in Cleveland this Thursday through Saturday. And then next week, going to be headlining Caroline's on Broadway. Come out. That's a big one. New York City, if you're in the tri state area, come out May 3rd through May 6th. For tickets and other tour dates, go to Big J. It's going to be a great weekend. We're going to be Talk hanging afterwards. We always go to playwrights afterwards and yeah. hang out with everybody and bullshit. Hey, Lou. Oh, oh, hey, both yeah. Lou's are coming. I Mark Face now. is going to come. Mike Face is going to come to the show. Um, yeah, you went on last time I was there. I, think, I right? did. Yeah, I yeah, did absolutely. go Absolutely. Maybe yeah. we'll figure something out again, man. Absolutely. That'd be great. And then uh, Danny's going to be out of town, I know. Bummer. Yeah, I'm going to be out of town. That's okay. Or Vancouver. 
We'll get her next time, buddy. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want to see Dan Soder, you can see him at the Rhode Island Comedy Connection, April 27th and 28th, and the Loft Comedy Club in Chicopee, Massachusetts, on April 29th. That's the Sunday. After that, you can catch him at the Comedy Mix in Vancouver, Canada. As he said, May 3rd to the 5th. For tickets for that and all of Dan's shows, go to dansoder.com and watch Season 3 of Billions airing every Sunday on Showtime, 10 p.m. Or in demand. In demand. Check also, your local cable provider. Also Hulu. If you got Hulu. Is it? Fucking stream that shit. I didn't know it was on Hulu. Yeah, on Hulu. Showtime Fuck shows yeah. on Hulu. Right, that is correct. You were absolutely right about that. Uh -huh. uh, we're hanging out with Merc Face Andy. It's yep. like old times in here. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Cinderella. That's a hot chick pumping in a car. Cinderella, that was a really good band for a hot that's chick. That's our age, that. that's our age difference. I was, yeah, 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 I was yeah. too young. Yeah, yeah. These chicks you'd find these would have been your mom's friends. <laughs> yeah. No, they wouldn't. No, that's not your mom's older than that. Trisha's Trisha's friends older daughters. Yeah, 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 for sure. Oh, that's what this would have to be a lot of times for me though too. I'd learn this music from like Exactly, like, you know, an older cousin girl or something that was yeah. like a hot chick. You know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you, the same, the same that night. That was babysitter music for me. Like, the girls that would babysit me, they'd come over and be like, I'm going to watch you when you go out. Angie and then Lauren. I, went out, I bought Europe's The Final Countdown, yeah. and my older girl, hot chick cousin, uh, Tracy, bought uh, Master of Puppets and Look What the Cat Dragged and Poison. Ooh, good so taste. I built that a lot off of that. Tracy. I bought. Actually, I didn't. I bought. Europe's other album Why? that night because the final countdown was so great. And Carrie, come on, you remember Carrie? No. Europe, whatever, Dan. I only know Europe from Final Countdown. I'm sorry, I didn't know you come from this secluded place where everyone <laughs> fucking fucks their dogs and goes to some kind of weird named high school. Settler law. <laughs> You've always believed in settle at all. <laughs> I know we didn't get to the trucker songs today. I'm very, very sorry. I know Corey in Illinois hung, hung in there. Um, we will revisit the subject, but how do you walk away from dog fucking when you only have 15 minutes left of the show? It's very true. Uh, also, just to retouch, Stephanie Falcone said she drove a Dodge Neon mm. covered in no doubt. Right in Charlotte. the pocket. Right in the, a Dodge Neon? Oh, yeah. For yeah. sure. Girl car, for sure. Yeah, I drove a Dodge Stratus, which was a soccer mom car. It was a lady car. Yeah, Neon wasn't a soccer mom car. That was like girl car. Again, again, anytime you could do things to it, like put, you know, decals or any kind of that shit, that was such a big deal. And that's the time I grew up with the system. It wasn't just the systems. It was like the pinstriping and all this dumb shit people care about that doesn't happen anymore. You get a car, pretty much, like you keep your car the way it... And they made, again, age thing, for sure. I've never understood... If I bought a new car, I would never be like, I'm getting a new car. Now I gotta take to this place to get the tint done. Now I gotta take to this place to get the decals done. Now I gotta take to this place to get... Yeah. Now, I mean, I, you can even get... You can get amazing rims from the dealership if you're willing to pay the upcharge for them. Do you know what I mean? You can get like rims that would be like amazing to get at a rim shop at the fucking, you know what I mean? Like the, it's the packages. I, know, I, haven't, I haven't bought a car. It's the packages you get. If, you, yeah. if you're buying like a new Ford Explorer, you they'll offer you nothing like spinners and shit, but you can get some pretty crazy wheels. Do you do think they still somebody make bought spinners? <laughs> I don't think so. They do? Why wouldn't they? Look at best standard rims, Christine. Spinners. Spinners. Can we get you spinners for for, for what, my city bike? Yeah, yeah, for your city bike. <laughs> I forgot that. Oh, look at those, huh? They did look pretty neat when they were happening. Oh yeah, yeah. People forgot that they were fucking. Did you have spinners? Why is Black Lou? Black Lou's avoiding something like you didn't have. Spinners, He's still saving up. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I like the spinning rims, but uh, later on they came out with the rims that had a little weight in them. Yeah. So it would still have the spinner thing. <gasps> I know on the what end, you're talking about. Floating. And yeah. Like like gliding. Yeah. Through. Oh, yeah. I know which ones you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, man. They got. Uh, I should have put spinners on the Dodge Stratus. Oh yeah. If I had the money, if I had the uh, coin. Man, I can't believe hubcaps were actually a thing and people cared about them. I got <laughs> awesome hubcaps. Hubcaps. Do you remember the cheap spinners? Are these the spinners? best? Uh, Do you best remember the cheap spinners wheel? they sold at Walmart? Oh yeah, the knockoff spinners. Like they were, but they were they were just pinwheels. Like yeah. you know, when you went, like the wind would have to make them go. <laughs> you might as well put a fucking bicycle, uh, baseball card in your spokes. <laughs> yeah, you're telling like a motorcycle. <laughs> By the way, the second that. Do you remember doing that? Like the first time you put a fucking card. A I never. Card? I, know, I know it did. It made that flapping noise. Yeah. It sounded yeah. like a motorcycle. Yeah, that was the best. When I did it, tennis I was like, ball in the spokes. 
No. Ooh, Why was, was that? that for? Just look cool. Oh, to look cool. What? Gotcha. How did that tennis, look cool? Stick a tennis ball in the smoke, glow in the dark at night. I, I had mag wheels, dog. Yeah, I suck. Oh, you did? No. Oh. Oh, I remember, I remember Scott Thompson wheels. threw a hockey stick into my front <laughs> spokes and it fucking made me fly off the front <laughs> handle. You know who was there? Renee Herlocker. You know who you was happy it wasn't Herlocker. You know who was happy it wasn't him? The fat kid that saw it happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Aaron Polzer. Fact, you get into an accident is the worst thing ever. Aaron Polzer watched that and was like, good for that big headed skinny freak. <laughs> I've, I've eaten my fucking. I took my handlebars at a solar plex in front of a crowd. Oh, 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 dude. And you, gotta, and you gotta be a fact, you're going, hee. Oh, <laughs> you know what I did? It? <laughs> I like to I bicycle. Yeah, hell yeah. For Boogie Nights, I, uh, I jumped off. Um, when rollerblading got big, I was rollerblading and I had wrist guards on, and I went off a ramp, and I fucking landed with the wrist guard right in my soul plex under <laughs> me, and it was, it, was, it was one of those things where I was trying to talk while my legs were kicking around in grass, and they're all, they're all heavy with the rollerblades on. I was going, like, I was going like this, yeah. I was going, I was going like this. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. <laughs> I think something's really wrong. I think something's really wrong. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. You're just, you're just feeling, you're just feeling the fucking weight of the rollerblades on my feet as I'm trying to kick off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. Um... Uh, 16 best looking factory wheels you can get right now. Yeah, look at these. It's crazy now what they do. You don't have to, the stereo system's exactly the same. Unless you're looking to like make a, a fucking spectacle of yourself and get pulled over a lot. Yeah. yeah. You're, the stereo they put in a car now, I mean, like you're. It's great. They're, they're standard bows and shit. Yeah, they're they're not, also yeah. fucking Dre started doing the, they started putting the Dre beat, Beats yeah, by Dre in Beats cars. By Shep, by CRX. Beats by, <laughs> by. Beats by Honda. Beats by Honda CRX. Yeah, look at these rims. These are all like. Right, Black Lou? I need your black opinion on this. These are fantastic. <laughs> yeah, they all look like rims you would go... These are what people would go spend cool. money on later. Oh, and when people, and remember rims became a big thing and the, the, the lug locks then they had to do? Like, remember the lugs? Oh, so if, you had to chill? if you had to change your fucking tire, the, it was an hour and a half ordeal to change a tire <laughs> on the side of the road. No bullshit. You had to have a lug lock for a little compartment that opened up to even show you where the lug nuts were. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The lug nuts were covered by by fake lug nuts. Was that how? On top, by the way, I spent I spent time. I've broken the plastic on trying the. I'm like, why won't these fucking like? I'm getting it. Like it's spinning, right, right. and all I found I was doing I was just breaking the plastic. That's, that's a fake lug nut. Stripped. Yeah, you just strip them. Yeah, and like can't Jay, get it's a hubcap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm -hmm, got it. Right. I had a feeling that was going on. <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, that's how bad. Car theft must have been in the eighties and nineties that they're like, let's make fake lug nuts to put on top of the lug nuts so no one could steal these tires. And then now you're like, no one steals tires. You know, whenever it talks about like crime that's run its course that doesn't happen anymore, that was like a big problem. Like there was criminals back in the day that their big thing was probably ripping off car systems. Yeah, stripping like, cars, stealing radio, but even just taking radios and shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like what was the point? They rip your whole radio, even without the face. They would take because they had other faces and they could figure yeah. out. that. Biz I mean the. The racketeering of that right now is fucking worth. He goes, what if I brought you in to steal car systems? You'd be like, I'm going to go do meth and rob a bank. Like, by the way, to steal a car system, he goes, what do you want me to take out the entire front of the fucking car? It's like an iPad now. <laughs> yeah. It's like, how can I possibly? It's a computer. I don't even know where the system, system is. Yeah, I don't even know where the fucking radio is in this goddamn thing. <laughs> it's all thing. in the dash. I started, I keep turning up the volume. It's, it's turning the air conditioning van up. Oh, dude, that's so great. If a guy really got into that. And then hey. now he's like, hey. You guys forget about me, <laughs> fucking dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Just even the picture right back up. Yes. Hey guys, I noticed you uh, stop talking about what's going on. Is dog fucking old news now? What I thought I was making headlines over here. He goes, I don't know if you guys saw this, but I built a pretty awesome fuck bench. <laughs> that husky was going nowhere. Oh yeah, no, we were strapped in. I had the hands full of paws, and he had a dick full. Of, he had a red rocket full of my girl. Yeah, and now you know she's gonna tell you she didn't want it, but she wanted it. Can you imagine being the guy that dates her? after him where she goes you're not into like crazy stuff are you he goes yeah he's like uh, that look hey guys six words 
backyard motor home <laughs> turned he goes, mm, dog sex chamber i represent aurora she was raised down in broomfield woof, 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 woof. I see you loved your wet woof, dog woof, food. I'm trying to give you something more. <laughs> 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 yeah, she be my lover. Woof, woof. You are my lover. Woof, woof. <laughs> Did you all the girl parts as blood barking? I represent barking? humans. Somebody born. Do it. <laughs> uh, DJ Lou, you got canine. your assignment, buddy. All the girl parts of doing it, with dog, with dog barks. Slow, daddy, slow down. Give me a clean Word sample. life. Word life. I like the way the F went down. Give me a clean sample of that barking again. Woof, 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 woof. Oh man! The, the odd thing to think about is the friend of his that came over and was like, "Hey, what's up with Bubba? <laughs> He's acting weird." Is Bubba guys? sick? Yeah, he goes, "No, no, no." He goes, "Why is he walking around all confidently around your girl?" <laughs> he goes, "I know Bubba's really protective of her. It's kind of fucking weird." I mean, dude, I don't mean to be a dick here, but hey, Frederick, have you talked to Eileen recently? Because Bubba's just like following her around the house. Why is he Fred, you notice anything? Uh, I don't know. What, did you get your hair done or something? Woof, woof. That's right, Bubba. It is a new dress. Thank Thanks you, for Bubba. noticing, Fred. Hey, why does Bubba keep pawing at the door to your motorhome? Yeah. Hey, are you guys letting Bubba sleep in the motorhome? Why does he go nuts? He's just running around in a circle barking. <laughs> you want to go outside? You want to go to the motorhome? You want to fuck her? You want to go for a ride, boy? You want to fuck Eileen? Why does he have, a, t why does he have a, a tube of KY jelly in his mouth? Oh, and my he's, God. And he's, mo and, he's, and he's nodding towards the RV. Did he just bring over a cat of nine tails? Uh, you know, you you tell me, uh, hey Pete, do me a favor. Actually, we're going away next week. If you would like to uh, dog sit for us, hey, uh, why don't you and the missus come over and uh, stay in the camper? <laughs> <laughs> um, that dog needs to be put down. Huh? That, that dog. Needs I don't know how a dog. Yeah, comes from that. flipped over a little yeah, bit and then and laid on its side for then, a while and then rubbed down and then <laughs> and you put his paws over your shoulders, just really and, get in there deep and then let him get on top for a little bit. Let him take control. Let him go. follow his natural animal instincts. What am I doing? This is crazy. You're a dog. I mean, Frederick's at work for an hour. I can't. Don't you look at me like that. You Stop. know how you get. You know I want Bad to. boy. You know I want to. Bad so boy. <laughs> bad boy. Bad boy. Okay, grab the peanut butter. He's like, <laughs> oh, don't you understand? If I killed Frederick, they would never understand. We can't be together. <laughs> I know, but this is Aurora. We'd have to move to Littleton. <laughs> Boulder would maybe be liberal enough to take us in. <laughs> I mean, Ruby's is a Smoky Hill High School. Uh, Smoky Hill High School. Respect, Smoky Hill. That's what I said. And they're probably North Aurora trash. I am from Southeast Aurora. Oh, it's different. This is more nice. of a Gerald Foos type. Oh, shit. And she... then I saw her banging a dog, the what dog. I believe to be an Alaskan Husky mix. I looked through the window. And I see the dog. The dog had great big paws. <laughs> there was not enough light, so I turned on some headlights and climbed back into the air conditioning system. Did you watch Voyeur on Netflix? Yeah, no. You turn, Voyeur. It you turn it off when you come? <laughs> <laughs> you should watch it. It's about a dude who owns a motel and watches people. Also Aurora calls no, it. All it fans garbage. All right. Tonight. All right. Cool. Linda. Yeah, there he is. She window. Grand room window. By the way, I love people who talk like that. Oh, he's Colorado. He's Dustin. Eastern Colorado. Does he do uh, garbage beans? Where's that end in A and E R? Yeah, yeah he goes. <laughs> she had great big boobs. boobs. She had big. By the way, Dustin Winder. from Dustin from another uh, one of your favorite places in the world, Dan, to watch garbage react, Arizona. <laughs> Dustin from Arizona says uh, having a stereo stolen ten years ago is the worst day of his life. Dustin, you there? Because that's yeah, true. Man. That would shut your whole... Sh it's, it would be so minimal now that if someone broke in your car and took your stereo, you'd be like, oh, thank God. Is that all? <laughs> yeah, Jesus I mean, Christ. Yeah, I would have to give a shit, but the, the thing was is uh, somebody broke into my truck, took out my uh, took out my 12-inch speaker in the back. No! Deck, and told... Took uh, two packs of smokes out of my glove box. Son of oh, they fucked your. It re really is the worst thing. I'll of your tell you life. this, and as a former smoker, I just know for a fact that when you discovered the packs of smokes gone, you were probably furious. Yeah, that's that, when you'll walk that, a mile that, and a half to yeah. a convenience store to get oh, a cigarette. You, you got to walk into Circle K and go. Don't tell me about the day I had. <laughs> it was like seven o'clock in the morning. I had got back from a party at a friend's house, and I, you know, I look. Motorhome. I got a. 
Did this party happen in a motorhome where there was dog fun? What kind of party was it? It was not a motorhome in Phoenix. That's a okay. bad junction. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I I showed up and I was like, okay, cool. I'm out of smokes from the party. So I go open up my car and everything's gone out of, out of it. You think you were set up at the party? I don't know. Ooh. Well, I'll tell you why. That was, man, the kids in my neighborhood, they were definitely kids you knew, like stole stereos. Yeah. And yeah. the weird one that I always hated, man, hated. I mean, the stereos I hated, too. Um, but yeah, I had friends who had like a, a they had a machine. Not a machine, what? Not a machine, this little thing you can do. Oh, I know, the metal slide. It, whatever it was, you put it on a window and like you pump it and then push some thing and it like shoots almost like a, like a nail point into the window and it makes the window, window. completely shatter. The window. The window. <laughs> the window. It shatters and then you can just like take a finger and just like chip it out and Oh, I thought door. you were talking about. No, so you, the, it makes almost no noise and they would steal stereos, but the hood ornaments would bother the shit. When they, I had friends who had these collections of hood ornaments from cars. You're like, yeah. what a cunt you're being. Yeah, my dad. It's like Mercedes and shit. And you're like, yeah, really? Yeah. Is that the p price you should pay for owning a Mercedes? Is it some jerk off just rips the fucking. I, I, oh, I, yeah. I, oh, that thing's great. It's called a stinger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, one of my friends had one of those metal slide things that you could just, you, you 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 slim jim. Yeah, but you put it in the for the stereo. Oh, so you okay. slide it in and then you just fucking pop it right out and then you just unplug it in the back and you can take just take the whole like mm -hmm. fast like. But that's when they were all the size of like you, a cigar box. Yes. Like I said, now it's like yeah. just built so into the computer. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. Now you can't. Now if you're gonna go steal a stereo, you're like steal the fucking car. Uh, did, the, did the night end well at least? What was your system? Uh, it was it was a Pioneer deck with a with a twelve inch uh, subwoofer at the back, and the worst part of it was they busted the lock on the truck to get into it, and then they uh, busted the ignition because they tried to steal the truck. But uh, steal the truck. You know what's funny, dude, is when uh, it actually when this kind of shit works out for you. I had when the Honda Accord hatchback, when my uh, clutch went, was when we got rid of the car. Mm -hmm. And so Buzz, the dude that was banging out Trish, he's like, I'll come, I'll tow it, I'll tow it to my yard, and I'll get rid of it. You know, the, uh, I'll, wheel I'll tow to the yard, then I'll wheelbarrow your mom. <laughs> and he goes, well, well, he goes, you know what I'll do? I'll do a little customization. Why don't you bring Montana? Let's get into it. I go, boss, you will not fuck Montana. Uh, I'll drop you off of school, kid. Where do you go? Smoky Hill? <laughs> yeah, Smoky Hill or Rangeview. <laughs> That's a real name. Those are the two choices of schools I had. I was supposed to go to Rangeview. Uh, we had a lot of funny in my schools. Where there was a lot of the names for the Catholic ones I always thought were funny, like St. Callistus, St. Donato's. St. Donato's. Mount St. Mary's. Someone, Villa Walsh. Someone tried to steal my hatchback after the clutch was broken. Oh, all that cargo space. What are you going to not steal it? And they fucking ripped the, <laughs> they ripped the steering column open and tried to get in it. And then there was just no clutch. So the car was like maybe a foot in front of where it was. So they tried starting it and they're like, God damn it, there's no clutch in this thing. <laughs> the clutch is burned out. And I was like, yeah, good job, Dan. Heavy foot. Do property destruction and shit like has always weighed on me my yeah. whole life. Anytime, I've never been in to do any of that, like let's bust out a window of something, mm -hmm. or I've never been a graffiti guy. I've always just been like, no. Did you I'm guys ever do the like trash can bowling? Like yeah. out the window with a bat. The opposite of Hell yeah! That we, was the we big took thing. It's called trash can baseball. Or How trash do you bowl? Can baseball or what? Something was bowling. It's like trash can bowling. It's where you grab two <laughs> tennis rackets oh, no, and then no, no, whack no. a I'm ball over a net. Porta potty bowling. I had guys that used to like knock porta that's potties what? off the hill. <laughs> I told you that's when I tried doing that and I pushed it. and I go, my arms broke. And my friend Joel had the tape and we can't find it now. Where I go, ah, I pushed. Ah. I go, my arms broken. And then five minutes later, he goes, Soder. He's just in the back seat filming me and I'm driving. He goes. So does your arm. And he goes, shut up, Joel. <laughs> My arm's fine. By the way. Dude, he had, here's the thing that Joel had. Joel had five uh, camcorder like videotapes filled with stuff from our senior year of high school. Mm -hmm. And he had like multiple girls that we went to high school with flashing them on it. Really? Like, yeah. The girl that I was talking about, that body came back. And Hell yeah. He put them on. We found it. We went to my friend Chad's house, who, like, Chad's parents had, like, the stuff where we could... This was, by the way, maybe three years ago. Girls were not flashing in high school. This is three years ago. I went to a giant Smoky public Hills school. Smoky Hills broads were. Smoky Hills broads. law. I was, pub I was public school. I was public school always. <laughs> maybe you should go to Only the, public school, but it was maybe just Maybe you should be covered that. in the shadow of the Rocky Mountains, and they'll go. Even Boom. sexy. It was, just, it was like... I just got out of high school in 95. 
right before sex. All the sexy look of that time was like a bodysuit, but with like baggy jeans over it. Oh, you no, know what man. I mean? Britney Spears that cracked look. that bitch open for us. Right, I was out of high school then. Hi, a lot God of low, bless you. <laughs> low riding jeans. <laughs> Loved it. Short Seriously, no, yeah. oh, belly button piercing. None of those straps. Fucking oh. essentially jeans that came way up to the waist and were bell bottoms gay. at the bottom. Like what, was it my, what came back in my school gay. Days. Yeah, super gay. No, man, low riding jeans. But Joe, story Joel, says gay says the guy who comes from a town where everyone fucks their dog in a camper. Yeah, that's I'm awesome. Gay. That's awesome. <laughs> that's that's living. That, that's frontier justice, motherfucker. <laughs> I go, I just want to let you know, that's called High Plains Romance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, that's great. Yeah. But um, you Joel, Joel had like three of these tapes and we we're all like, we got all excited. We we're like, oh, we're going to watch all this shit. This is going to be nuts. And then he put it in and it was all erased. No. Oh, what a nightmare. I don't know what happened. I mean, legally, probably would have a blessing. But what yeah. a <laughs> I mean, legally, would have been a real hairy situation. I'm saying for the future, legally, because I was going to say, like, does he still have it? Because <laughs> I'll watch a girl's tits when you tell me a story. He goes, oh, she was such a bitch. But look at her stupid pink nips. Oh, That's, he had some good That's ones. That's always the revenge. Joel, I will never forgive you for that. I know he's listening in his car right now. That's okay. We and know yeah, what? He's a Smoky Hill Buffalo, too. Hopefully. Hill Pride. Speaking of forgiveness, maybe Sirius XM will eventually forgive Nick DiPaolo so Andy Fiore can have a job again. Yeah, thanks, Sirius. Thanks, Sirius. We're going to watch our X-Man f flounder. Now, well, we have to let him in or he was going nah, to be, be fog-breathing up the windows outside the studio the whole time. Do you guys... Do you sure see? looks fun in there. Do you guys need two, guys? Do you guys need two call screeners? <laughs> guys. I mean, the phone lines are lighting up, and Black Lou looked a little in the weeds out there. <laughs> I'm, being, I don't know. I'm just saying, man, if you need someone to come in and tag in, and I get people are walking by me, I'm like, no, nah, they're just kidding around. They know I'm here. This they can see me. It's a bit. They can see me. It's a bit. Ah, these guys. These guys are great. And you keep trying to open the door. Like, <laughs> <laughs> goes, yeah. is it locked? He goes, no, they're just, these guys are just being dicks. They're <laughs> fun. We're all friends, though. They're just <laughs> fucking with me. These guys are fucking jerks. You get it. Andy Fiore. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks for coming in, dude. Merkface, we love you. AndyFiore.com. It's F I O R I dot com. And I'll be hanging around the building. We'll find something for me to do. You know. Goddamn right. Goddamn right. I love it. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, it's great. Fun I know back. you're a great producer and a fucking hilarious comic, Thanks, man. man. Yeah. Check out Andy Fiore. And then, you know, DanSoder.com for all his tour dates. BigJComedy.com for all his tour dates. Billions every Sunday. At the Bonfire, SXM, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all. We that both have shit. specials. Yeah, go buy it on Send iTunes. the stupid envelopes so you can get the stickers and shit. Jacob a Todd Heel Quick, we love you and miss uh, you. Mike Fenoya, uh, your dog and yeah. you and your wife are in our thoughts, buddy. Love you, buddy. And uh, we will be back live tomorrow right here. Bye. On the Bonfire. <laughs>